can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 481, sneaking around when Aunt Ma came back to explain, who Z was stunned, I misunderstood. Sean Sean is willing? You baka. You cuss such a big joke. It had scared me. Lin Ching, he gave him an eye roll. If Chin Shan Shan wasn't willing, how awkward it would be. It made it seem that old Zhou family's side was taking advantage of their power to bully another. Both side would find it hard to interact then. I was given a scare too. Aunt Ma laughed. She went to old Chen's house without having breakfast. But Hu Zi can't be blamed. A lad like him had never dated before, how can he understand these? Naturally, the girl was feline shy. Since, she was willing to talk to him, she must be happy to. It was just she was embarrassed to say on the surface. So she deliberately said she wasn't. And the silly boy took it to his heart and almost cried. Aunt Ma wanted to laugh. Lin Ching, he amusedly spoke, Auntie, go back to eat. This kid is a fool. Now I'm worried that Sean Sean is dating him, she'll find a shortcoming and will not want him? Can't really be certain it won't happen. Aunt Ma teased. Huzi became anxious and rushed to say, I'm not a fool. I just didn't realize that she was joking with me. Lin Ching, he and Aunt Ma looked at each other. They were greatly amused and went on their own. Not bothering with him at all. Huzi quickly ate breakfast and headed to the menswear's shop to help sort the clothes and the likes. The business in the morning was SOSO, especially at this time. After 9 o'clock, the business will slowly climb up. So Hu Zi came to the women's clothing store to find Chin Shan Shan. Chin Shan Shan turned red when she saw him coming and handed the shop to the female clerk before coming out. Shan Shan, you, you, me, me. Hu Zi stammered. His face was also tanned and red. Clearly feeling embarrassed. What's up? Chin Shan Shan looked at him with a smile in her eyes. This, Baka. Nothing, I just, I just want to come and see you. Hu Zi replied. Chin Shan Shan turned her face away, what's there to see? Good looking, especially good to look. Hu Zi said. Now it was Chin Shan Shan's turn to blush. If there is nothing else, please go back to the shop as soon as possible. Hu Zi said, then I will come over when I am free. Chin Shan Shan gave an N. Like this, the two started dating with the adult's approval. Dating with the aim of marriage. Truly these two people. They were very good at keeping it confidential. Even Gang Zi didn't even know about it. However, in the end Gang Zi sensed something strange as he slept with his brother. Had his brother gotten sick recently? He would occasionally laugh out in the middle of the night when dreaming. Especially creepy. Gang Zi had a close-knit relationship with Zhou Gui Lai, so he complained to Zhou Gui Lai, Is my brother possessed, by something unclean? Don't know if he should go to the hospital or not. What's wrong? Zhou Gui Lai was looking through the photos he had just washed out. There were quite a few dozens of them. He now had four albums in total. All of them were very large and filled with the photos. Putting aside before. He would sleep talk in the middle of the night. I didn't hear what was said. What's more, he would laugh. The laughter was particularly creepy. Gang Zi told. Zhou Gui Lai was surprised and raised his face to look at him, Brother Hu Zi has this habit. He didn't have it when we slept in the same room before. He didn't before. Only got this bad habit recently. Last night, I was got a fright when he hugged me. Like really tightly. Gang Zi said. Zhou Gui Lai was stunned, what's the situation? Why can't I understand? I don't understand either. Otherwise, why should I say if he is sick and should he be sent to the hospital for a checkup? Gang Zi replied. Zhou Gui Lai rubbed his chin, pondered for a moment, why do I feel Hu Zi is in heat? In heat? Gang Zi didn't understand. 
In short, he want to marry a wife. Zhou Gui Lai answered. Gangzi instantly got a disgusted shiver. It can't be that his brother was dreaming of marrying a wife in his dream last night and treated him as his wife. Zhou Gui Lai grinned, but really, it sounds a lot like this. Isn't this a teen in heat? It's not a big deal. I should get my mom see if there are anyone suitable in the surrounding. If there are, introduce her to him and prevent him from only finding a wife in his dream. That sounds pitiful. Pitiful my butt. I don't want to sleep with him. I will bunk with you tonight. Gang Zi said. Then sleep on the bed by yourself. It's too hot. Zhou Gui Lai stated. Though the two boys spoke like this, they didn't keep it at heart. One day Zhou Gui Lai came to the beverage shop. He planned to bring some ice cream and popsicles home and put them in the refrigerator. They didn't have any at home. Then his sharp eyes noticed something. He found Hu Zi acting sneaky and entered the cinema. Zhou Gui Lai went into contemplation. It was just watching a movie. Was there a need to act like a thief? What's more, it was off-duty hours. Would anyone say something if he wanted to watch a movie? But after a while, Zhou Gui Lai saw another familiar figure. Wasn't this Chin Shan Shan? Unlike Hu Zi's guilty appearance, Chin Shan Shan appeared quite natural. No one would find it suspicious. If it were another, then maybe they won't think too much. But Zhou Gui Lai was different. Just the day before, he heard Gang Zi's complaint about his brother's unhealthy dream. Due to this, Gang Zi went to sleep in the bed in the room. So Zhou Gui Lai paused for a while. Then a shocking secret emerged in his head. These two, it can't be that they have some adulterous affair, right? Without any hesitation, he immediately followed. Sure enough, he saw the two of them together. They were queuing to buy tickets. They were still talking and laughing. Looking at the two of them, it was obviously their relationship wasn't simple. Zhou Gui Lai was full of admiration. He really didn't notice. Hu Zi appeared so silly, but actually he hid so deep. He actually asked Sister Shan Shan out to the movie. It was unknown how long this relationship had been developing. Zhou Gui Lai was afraid that his parents would hit the Mandarin ducks if they knew it. So he didn't dare to tell his parents. He went to the menswear's clothing store to find Gang Zi. However, Gang Zi had already went to night school. His aunt was closely checking his homework. He can't be not serious. Zhou Gui Lai specially rode the bicycle to the night school to find Gang Zi. He couldn't help it, he was too excited. Huh, my brother is dating sister Shan Shan? Gang Zi was stunned. Can it be fake? I saw it with my own eyes. Hu Zi sneakily went to the cinema first. Sister Shan Shan went in afterward. The two of them lined up to buy movie tickets together. There's talk and laughter. I saw it with my own eyes. Zhou Gui Lai said. Chapter 482 Pure Heart, My, My Elder brother is the toad eating swan meat? After hearing about Zhou Gui Lai's witness statement, Gang Zi was stunned. What's with your words? Hu Zi isn't bad. How come he become a toad? Besides, that's your biological brother. Zhou Gui Lai uttered in displeasure. Chin Shan Shan wasn't bad. Everyone was familiar with each other, after all. Still, Hu Zi wasn't inferior either. There was nothing wrong with being practical and willing to work. He was direct and open. My brother has a rural household registration. While Sister Shan Shan got a capitals household registration. How can she possibly date my brother? Is this? Is this a misunderstanding? Gang Zi couldn't help but doubt. I don't think it's a misunderstanding. As long as one is a discerning person, they can tell they are dating at a glance. Zhou Gui Lai replied. How can this do? It won't work out. If the elders doesn't agree, both of them will be hurt. Gang Zi said with a frown. My mom and my dad probably won't disapprove. Zhou Gui Lai said. 
If my brother could marry a girl from the capital city, my uncle and aunt would certainly not disagree. I'm worried about old Chin family's side. You know my family's situation. I'm afraid they will look down on my family. What if they don't agree? Do? Gang Z expressed. The gossiping mindset of these two brothers at the beginning instantly became worried about the future of Hu Z and Chin Shan Shan. In fact, this is easy to handle. Let's go tell my parents and get them to help. Zhou Gui Lai stated. His first reaction was worried that his parents would beat the Mandarin ducks. Once his mind came around, he felt that his parents would definitely support it. As long as Hu Zi didn't take the initiative to make Sister Shan Shan's belly bigger, then everything can be easily discussed. His parents, especially his mother, were the kind who was against unmarried pregnancy. Therefore, they must confess this matter first. Only with the support of the adults will there be a future in the open, right? Look at Hu Zi's behavior just now. It was almost like a thief. Extremely pitiful. Gang Zi said, I'll go back and continue to listen to the class. You go and talk to uncle and aunt. With that, he ran away. Zhou Gui Lai scolded, you want me go alone? Anyway, you found out about it, you can tell by yourself. Gang Zi responded. Zhou Gui Lai could only return on his bike. Lin Qing, he had just finished her class preparation and had cucumber mask on. Zhou Qing Bai was watching TV. This version of the Legend of the Condor Heroes was very interesting to watch. Why did you come back now? One episode had finished broadcasting. Lin Qing, he saw third some back and said. Mom, you're doing skincare. I have never seen a person who is better at maintenance than my mom. Still looking young, when going out with you, I'll have face. Strangers would think you're my sister. Going out with my dad, they'll think you are his daughter. Zhou Gui Lai laughed. Zhou Qing Bai swept a glance at him. Lin Qing, he amusedly scolded, stop the flattery. Why did you do wrong? Weren't you getting ice cream? Why did you come back empty-handed? Second brother, you go get it. I'll discuss something with mom and dad. Zhou Gui Lai turned to his second brother. Zhou Xian took the bicycle key and said, where did you just go? Nowhere. Quickly go. Zhou Gui Lai waved his hand. When he left, Zhou Gui Lai became serious and looked at his parents, Dad, Mom, I have a very important thing to tell you. What? Did you find your biological parents? Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows. As for Zhou Qing Bai, he ignored third and watched his TV. I'm not joking. Mom and Dad, I discovered a big secret. Zhou Gui Lai stated. The secret that you're not our biological son? Lin Qing, he continued. Zhou Qing Bai said, throw him away. Zhou Gui Lai suddenly felt that his parents' hearts were really big. So he decided to scare them, Dad, Mom, I saw Hu Zi dating with Somong. Even with such a big news, his parents still kept watching TV. They talked about the plot and the actor's acting skills as they watched the TV. Parents, did you hear? Brother Hu Zi is dating Ah. He went to the movies with his girlfriend. I saw it. Zhou Gui Lai spoke. Your brother Hu Zi isn't small. It's okay to date. What's the fuss? Lin Qing, he glanced at him. Mom, I'm really serious. Hu Zi and Sister Shan Shan both went to the movies together. They were like thief. Zhou Gui Lai stopped the suspense and let it all out at once. Afterward, his parents still didn't find it strange. Not curious at all, as if they weren't interested. Zhou Gui Lai was stunned. Then in realization, he looked at his parents and uttered, Dad, Mom, you know already, right? Hu Zi and Shan Shan's matter. Lin Qing, he reluctantly reacted to him. Yes. Zhou Gui Lai confirmed in a daze. Your granny ma connected their string. They started going out a week ago. What's the big deal? You didn't pay attention to it. 
Hadn't Sean Sean come over to eat more often? Only found out now? How bad is your observation? Lin Ching, he responded. I didn't hear about it from second brother and the others. Zhou Guilai said. He thought Chin Shan Shan came over to eat with Zhou Er and I, so he didn't even think about it. Your second brother probably doesn't know. But your sister Er and I probably know. Lin Ching, he waved her hand. Then you didn't mention anything. Zhou Guilai said in dissatisfaction. Off to one side. Don't disturb your dad watching TV with me. Your observation skills is bad and still blame others. Lin Ching, he dismissed. No, mom. How can this matter work out? Brother Hu Zi has a rural household registration. Can old Chin family agree? Zhou Gui Lai spoke. Agree. Got both families' elders' approval. The two of them are dating. Otherwise, why do you think your brother Hu Zi has the courage to ask Shan Shan out to the movie? Lin Ching, he said. It was her who told Hu Zi to talk Chin Shan Shan to the movies more. Since the elders know, why does Hu Zi look like a thief? Acting so sneaky. I thought you didn't know it. Zhou Gui Lai said. At the end of the day, it was he who didn't know. Probably feeling shy. After all, Hu Zi got a pure heart. Lin Qing, he answered. Zhou Xian came back with ice cream. He was a little surprised when he heard his brother mentioned it. But it wasn't unexpected, if the two of them can make it, then it would be pretty good. When will they get married? Zhou Gui Lai asked. It only reached this stage. The two of them are still young. Dating two years is fine. No rush. Lin Qing, he stated. My sister Er and I is still young. Isn't she going to get married next year? Zhou Gui Lai pointed out. How can it be the same? What's the age difference between her and Wang Yuan? Lin Qing, he said. In fact, if Wang Yuan wasn't anxious, she personally wouldn't mind letting Er and I date Wang Yuan for a longer time. But Wang Yuan was indeed not young. What's more, Er and I was persuaded by him and was willing to marry. There was nothing to say. Chapter 483 Social Interaction When Hu Zi came back, it went without saying he received interrogation from Zhou Gui Lai, Gang Zi, and the others. Hu Zi shyly confessed. Basically, all of old Zhou family knew about Hu Zi and Chen Shan Shan being in a relationship. Mother Zhou was paid close attention to this matter. What's more, she was someone good at handling relationship. So, when Gang Zi went to see her, she told Gang Zi to bring a basket of eggs to old Chen's house. Mother, just let Hu Zi date the girl. Don't intervene so much. Keep your own eggs for yourself to eat. Zhou Xiaomei said helplessly. How can this do? Their family can set their eyes on Hu Zi is Hu Zi's blessing. We have to help Hu Zi. How can we do nothing? Mother Zhou responded. Zhou Xiaomei said, you made it sounds like Hu Zi is worthless. Hu Zi is great young man and is being nurtured by fourth sister-in-law. He won't be badly off in the future. Old Chen family probably thought of this. So you don't need to do this. Don't make old Chen family feel embarrassed. Zhou Xiaomei wasn't reluctant to part with those eggs. What age was it now? The conditions at home were better. A basket of eggs was really nothing. It was just that her mother's attitude hadn't been caught on. It was as if the family was buttering up to old Chen family. Was there any necessity for this? If they were to be in-laws in the future, they don't need to be so polite. How it was before, is how it'll be be in the future was enough. All right. Send less in the future. Come to think of it, this kid, Hu Zi is blessed. Mother Zhou jollily said. With such a big problem like household registration, Mother Zhou really didn't dare to expect her grandson to find a girl in the capital. Otherwise, she wouldn't instantly disapprove when hearing Su Xing Chang wanting to marry a girl in the capital. But she didn't expect that the unthinkable happened. 
A family set their eyes on this grandson, who Z. Even with the household registration issue, they would be willing to marry their daughter to him. This really made Mother Zhou overjoyed when she thought about it. It's not that Hu Zi is blessed. But rather, Hu Zi followed the right person. He came here and got trained by fourth sister-in-law. That's why the other party can look upon him. Zhou Xiaomei knew it inside out. I know. It's all your fourth sister-in-law's credit. Mother Zhou smiled. Credit or not, fourth sister-in-law has never mentioned it. As long as they aren't like Xingmei siblings, it was fine and can give everything. If one is even a little bad, she can remember it. Zhou Xiaomei said. On this point, what is there to debate? Mother Zhou responded. With Xingmei's temperament, she must be dissatisfied in her heart. Hu Zi can date a capital's girl and marry her, while Chang Zi can't. How can she not have any opinion in her heart? Zhou Xiaomei remarked. Chang Zi is stupid. How can he compare with Hu Zi? Hu Zi can marry. No need to be afraid of not being able to support the other. With Chang Zi's lazy ways, who would be willing to be with him? Mother Zhou uttered in displeasure. She was still angry. Even until now, Su Xing Chang hadn't come here to apologize to his uncle. He finally got sent to study after much difficulty. Now he had to quit. In short, I don't want to care about them. Mother, just intervene in their matter as little as possible. Really won't settle. Zhou Xiaomei said. Mother Zhou asked in a low voice, what's the situation in your uncle-in-law's house? Would Dalin introduce them over? N, but uncle and aunt don't plan to come. They said they're old. While his eldest cousin and his wife have that plan. Zhou Xiaomei said. I remember you saying your cousin's sister-in-law isn't that great, no? Mother Zhou asked. Certainly not that great. I'm planning to get them to live further away in the future and ask Dalin to find a place farther away. Won't in the same area, Zhou Xiaomei said. Su Dalin's eldest cousin was a nice guy. A very peaceful person and had a good relationship with Su Dalin. While his sister-in-law was terrible. When she was in the county, that cousin sister-in-law disliked her as she was from the countryside. Basically, didn't speak to her much. Also, her aunt-in-law was willing to help her with the children. At that time, she was working, right? She can't always leave the children at her maternal home. Her aunt didn't any objection, but this cousin sister-in-law had a lot. In fact, Zhou Xiaomei couldn't be bothered to greet them if it weren't for looking upon Su De Lin's uncle and aunt's face. That was how it was between relatives. Some favors really needed to be paid back. Her De Lin was an orphan when he was very young. And he stuttered. If it weren't for his uncle and aunt's care, he would really be bullied to death. Although Su De Lin received bullying when he was a child, he grew up safely. Whether it was his house or his salary, his uncle and aunt didn't covet it. Even Zhou Xiaomei would respect this kind of uncle and aunt after marrying over. So even when the relationship with that cousin was bad, Zhou Xiaomei didn't say anything. When will they come? Mother Zhou asked. I don't know. I guess it won't be this year. They have to learn how to make buns with my aunt. Maybe next year. Zhou Xiaomei responded. Her family de Lin's art of making buns was learned from his aunt. Then adding his own innovations, it became a technique to support the family. So, Zhou Xiaomei really had no reason to give de Lin's uncle face. The couple had never mistreated her de Lin. Mother Zhou said, let de Lin help find a place. Live somewhere far away. The shop too. At that time, don't let it be in the same area. Our street is completely occupied. If they want, they have to find one elsewhere. Mother Zhou continued. Delin knows these. Zhou Xiaomei said. What if they ask to borrow money? What'll you do? Mother Zhou whispered again. Zhou Xiaomei said, more or less, we have to lend some. But, we can't lend much. 
we don't even have money to buy a house for ourselves. At present, her family had some savings. The bun shop's business was doing well and her family de Lin was also working hard. In the morning, he would ride the tricycle out to sell a lot of buns. Their income had increased a lot. But the distance to purchasing a home. They still have to save. Save for two or three years. After all, it wasn't cheap. Mother Zhou didn't comment to that and said, the day after tomorrow is the mid-autumn festival. Got to buy some moon cakes back to eat. Okay. Zhou Xiaomei agreed. Prepare a share for Hu Zi. Let him take with him and drop by old Chen's house. Mother Zhou continued. All right. As his aunt, I got give some support. Zhou Xiaomei didn't have any objection. It was the holiday. So let Hu Zi bring a gift and visit at the girl's house. This was how it should be. The Mid-Autumn Festival arrived in a flash. This year's Mid-Autumn Festival was more than half a month delayed than in previous years. So that it was almost October. It was only the 15th of August according to the lunar calendar. Lin Qing, he sighed originally prepared a share for Hu Zi. However, Zhou Xiaomei gave a share. So she gave it to Aunt Ma and told Aunt Ma no need to buy it. It was just enjoying the mid-autumn festival. Su Xing Mei had to pull Su Xing Chang over. Lin Qing, he held deep admiration. If Su Xing Mei's heart was righteous, with the thickness of her face, she will definitely have a career in the future. Chapter 484, Go Hawking, regarding thickness of face, none of the nephew or niece can compare with Su Xing Mei. There was no need to compare though. Have a good mentality was enough. As long as one have the opportunity, they will climb up despite the difficulties. If one have a bad mentality, even if they win everything by sly means, it will not last long. Sooner or later, it will be taken away by others. Su Xing Mei pulled reluctant Su Xing Chang and sat around for half an hour before dragging Su Xing Chang to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. Once he was out the door, Su Xing Chang expressed his dissatisfaction, they don't welcome the two of us anymore. Why are you try to stick over like this? Su Xing Mei paid no heed and replied, If you were more capable, do you think I want to look upon other people's faces? What kind of household is Zhao family? They're much richer and more powerful than this side. You are Zhao family's daughter-in-law and still have to come to take in their attitude? Su Xing Chang uttered in displeasure. Su Xing Mei was anxious. Zhao family was indeed a big household. But no matter how high Zhao family stood, that was Zhao family's business. Zhao family looked down on her even until now. That was to say, the clothing store that she and Zhang Mei Lian jointly opened had distributed dividends recently. Each of them was divided more than 200 yuan. If not, she wouldn't feel confident. Don't be impulsive and arrogant with handling matter. Our family only have us two siblings here. Sister hope for your success. Su Xing Mei said. Su Xing Chang was extremely annoyed, I just fought twice? Why do they look down on me so much? Don't think about it anymore. Fighting already put you in the wrong. Grandpa and Grandma are very angry. In a while, you have to speak well, understand? Su Xing Mei instructed. Su Xing Mei's attitude towards fighting was clear. Here wasn't the countryside. If anything happened, talk it out. When one can't, invite the police to mediate. Initiating a fight by yourself? What was the difference between a hooligan? The capital city's folk looked down upon it. Su Xing Chang retorted, When I haven't spoken nicely, Grandpa and Grandma lectured me every time they see me. I want to properly converse with them, but when have they talked to me nicely? Su Xing Mei didn't answer. She knew that her grandparents were partial. Like last time. Her grandma devalued her brother to be worthless. Hearing that her brother wanted to date a girl from the capital, she treated it like a big joke. Kind of indicating a toad eating swan meat. 
But when her grandma heard that someone was introducing someone to Hu Zi, she was no longer in the mood to take care of her brother's affairs. She simply looked ecstatic. But even so, so what? Who knows who will live better than the other in the future? When they reached Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side, they saw Wang Yuan and Zhou Rni were present. Su Xing Mei felt this trip wasn't in vain. She didn't talk to Wang Yuan, directly cultivate friendships. Instead, she cordially chattered about small talks with Zhou Rni. Zhou Erni's relationship with her was much weaker. Their path split after difference in opinion. Since they weren't on the same path, so don't force themselves. That's why Zhou Erni's attitude didn't display much eagerness. Just entertain her was enough. Su Xing Mei's face was getting thicker now. She was the definition of a copper wall and iron wall. No matter what Mother Zhou said, she responded with a smile. Su Xing Chang didn't have her mentality. His face was flushed. He wanted to get up and leave. After finally escaping from his grandparents' place, he went to sit with old Madame Hu. Only then the siblings went home. Su Xing Chang's face was jet black. What's with this expression? Su Xing Mei's face showed exhaustion. Looking at her brother acting like this, she was also angry. Really disappointing. It had been so long. She had been teaching him for so long and he still can't deal with it politely. Just a few words from her grandma, he already too wanted to spring up. What big matters could he achieve? No wonder brother-in-law doesn't want to come. Who would be willing to come back and forth to be lectured? Su Xing Chang muttered. Your brother-in-law is unwilling to come because your brother-in-law's family got capability. That's why he cannot come. Does our family have that capability? Su Xing Mei solemnly said, The new house in our family got now was built with the money I sent back. What can you take, take out to be arrogant about? Because she was exhausted from all the interaction, her temper was naturally not good. She ignited Su Xing Chang's temper at once, You are Su family's daughter. You got capability and don't want to pull your maternal family up? Want to be selfish and think about yourself? Your maternal family raises you so big and you married well. It's only right for you to care for your maternal family and promote your maternal siblings. Su Xing Mei gritted her teeth, haven't I done enough for maternal family? In order to get her brother over, she was ruthless and deliberately miscarried her own child. By counting on scheming Zhao family, she succeeded in bringing her brother to this side. It's just sending some money back. What's so great? I can send it back once I make money. Su Xing Chang coldly snorted. Su Xing Mei didn't want to talk about this with him and said, You got to work hard and don't cause trouble. Zhao family's factory is laying off workers recently. Don't let people catch your shortcoming, understand? Otherwise, I can't save you. Su Xing Chang felt a little guilty because his work had been SOSO, the supervisor found him an eyesore. Su Xing Chang understood how important a job was to him. So he worked hard in his job since then. However, their impression of him was really bad. Su Xing Chang was instantly included in the list of layoffs. After Su Xing Chang knew about it, he was so angry that he approached the supervisor to question him. It was unknown what he said. The supervisor was punched by Su Xing Chang. He didn't dare to do more than a punch. This punch was enough to lose the job. Originally, Father Zhao was still hesitating. After all, even if he gave the face to the monk, he got to look upon the Buddha's face. Old Zhou family had the capability. Father Zhao heard from Su Xing Mei that Zhou Er latched on a young big boss like Wang Yuan. His factory had about 500 employees. Although Father Zhao didn't have to butter up others, he still accumulated some degree of intention of networking, but after this incident, Mother Zhao directly came over. Father Zhao frowned. The original hesitation was gone. If it wasn't for old Zhou's side, he would have long already dismissed this daughter-in-law's immature maternal brother. Now he beat people like this every so often. What was else could there be said? 
Su Xingmei's plea was useless. In the end, she came to look for her brother in the rented room. You don't need to scold me. I already hit. I don't regret it. Besides, didn't you open a clothing store by yourself? I'll go over and work in your clothing store. I don't need to look at anybody's face. Su Xing Chang had enough of the treatment in Zhao family's factory. He was isolated by the whole factory. No one paid any attention to him. Now that he had been driven out, then so be it. Su Xing Mei gritted her teeth and said, My clothing store is not short of people. If you want to stay in the capital, you can go hawking by yourself. Chapter 485 Monthly Income Over a Thousand It took her so much effort to bring him to the capital and got Zhao family give a valuable job. Now he lost it himself. How can she not be mad? With this habit of beating people at every turn, how could she possibly let her brother to go to the clothing store and watch the shop? If he hit someone, then can she still do business? If the reputation was bad, then don't think about doing business. What's more, the clothing store was her only source of income. The business was very good. She can receive 200 yuan a month. Sister, are you going to chase me out now? Su Xing Chang was infuriated when he heard that she was unwilling to let him go to the clothing store. Zhang Mei Lian is watching the clothing store. I would go there from time to time. Certainly, no shortage of people. If you want to stay in the capital, you can go out and set up a stall by yourself. I think the stall is quite profitable. After the deducting the cost of the goods from our clothing store, the rest of the money will be given to you. Su Xing Mei stated. She really didn't want her brother to go to her own clothing store. This was her last confidence now. She got income every month, which gave her a feeling of security. Su Xing Chang was dissatisfied. You want me to go out to set up a street stall? How much money can those hawkers make? Hawking wasn't respectable at all. Worse than being a self-employed person. I don't know how much money it make. However, the clothes business in my shop is excellent. It can make a lot of money in a month. One piece's profit is a yuan. You don't have to sell a lot. As long as you can sell two or three piece, it'll be a lot more money than going to work. Su Xing Mei persuaded. Su Xing Chang wasn't willing, if it is so profitable, why don't you set up a stall by yourself? Su Xing Mei also found it embarrassing, don't I have a shop? I also have to help Zhao family with chores. Do you think I'm so idle? When you have the capability, you should go and open a shop yourself. Then there is no need to set up a stall. Su Xing Chang was extremely unwilling. But no matter how unwilling he was, it can't be helped. Without the job at Zhao families, what to do if he can't find something to do? So he went over to the clothing store. This is your brother? He's very handsome. Zhang Mei Lian, who was dressed in a particularly trendy fashion and was born quite pretty, greeted with a smile. Su Xing Chang froze when he saw her and immediately asked, Sister, who is this? Zhang Mei Lian, my partner. Su Xing Mei introduced. All right. I will come here to get the goods for hawking in the future. Su Xing Chang stated. Pleased, Su Xing Mei nodded. As long as he worked hard, he wouldn't do badly. As for her uncle who looked down on them, she would let them see when the time came. They would be able to flourish in this capital city without relying on others. As the old saying goes, month is afraid of the 15th, the year afraid of autumn. Once the mid-autumn festival was over, the weather became a bit cold. Lin Qing, he recently ordered a new batch of autumn clothes. There were puffer jacket after this batch of autumn clothes. This so-called puffer jacket was a down and feather jacket. Not the same as the down and feather jackets of later generations. At this time, because of some technical shortcomings, the down and feather jackets were bloated and looked very bulky. So many people gave it a visual name puffer jacket. Puffer jacket were very popular. Lin Qing, he liked to wear them. As for the bloat, it was a little bloated. But it was especially warm. 
It was necessary to prepare for this winter. The days are getting better and better now. Lin Qing, he had nothing to do. She laid on the bed in relaxation and said to her Qing Bai, who was calculating the dumpling shop's account at home. Zhou Qing Bai looked at her and said, Tomorrow is a day off, go to the hot springs? Go with who? Lin Qing, he asked. Just the two of us. Zhou Qing Bai didn't want other people to disturb their rare two person world. Lin Qing, he glanced at him, raised her eyebrows, and said, All right then. We'll go tomorrow. There are other scenery over there. Let's go and play together. Zhou Qingbai nodded in response. He finished with the dumpling shop's account for this month and went out to find third. Zhou Gui Lai had originally planned to go out to play on his day off. He bought a lot of new film and planned to go to the Forbidden City. Dad, I already made an appointment with God Grandfather. Ask my second brother. He will have nothing to do. Zhou Gui Lai said. Second, I'll leave it to you. I will probably go out with your mother for a few days. Zhou Qingbai turned to Zhou Xian. Zhou Xian said, then my vacation is over. He also wanted to go to explore. He didn't want to cook dumplings in the dumpling shop. It settled like this. Zhou Qingbai paid him no heed and directly made the decision. Then he went back to the room to report to his wife. I heard that a new community has been built in Beijing. It is very beautiful. Lin Qing, he watched him come in and mentioned. Can't buy it. Zhou Qingbai had heard about it from Wang Yuan. Wang Yuan's family got a suite in that community. It was quite open and bright. But it had nothing to do with others. It was allocated and cannot be bought. Lin Qing, he didn't say anything. She wasn't in a rush. Once there are commercial houses in the future, she would buy it at that time. She planned to buy more plots of land. It didn't need to be too big. Just enough for her to build up a few buildings and wait to rent it out. But currently, it wasn't possible. At the moment, land was still not available for purchase. One have to see later. Then they can buy it when it's possible to buy. With money in hand, they can buy it whenever they want. How much money did our family make this month? Lin Qing, he asked. 10,000. Zhou Qing Bai answered. So far, the family's monthly income was this number. In fact, it was a bit more than this number. Among them, his dumpling shop had the lowest income which was incomparable to other shops opened by his wife. However, Zhou Qingbai didn't care. He was busy with something every day. His life was very fulfilling. Of course, it was great to go out and relax occasionally like this. So, the couple drove out by themselves the next day. Zhou Gui Lai went to find his god-grandfather. Originally, he had looked for Father Zhou but Father Zhou didn't want to go. He wanted to go to the park to play chess with other people. So he left Father Zhou be. Zhou Gui Lai took old Wang out to play. The dumpling shop was naturally handed over to Zhou Xian. Where did Qing Bai and Teacher Lin go? Aunt Ma came to work and saw Zhou Xian working away. She was surprised. Went to travel. Zhou Xian answered as he quickly cooked the dumplings. Toward his parents, he had admiration. Not only was the relationship extremely good, but at such an old age, they were like fresh couple. Sometimes he can see them holding hands. Then they want to go out and play every so often. It was no longer surprising. After hearing this, Aunt Ma praised their good feelings. It was good feelings, no? She had never seen the two of them get angry with each other. Chapter 486 Mountain Temple's Fortune Telling It was a rare chance for Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai, to come here. They must play as they want. In fact, they have their own car. It certainly made it much more convenient. Soaking in hot springs, taking in the scenery was the way of enjoying life. I heard that there is a mountain temple on the top of the mountain over there. It is very efficacious. 
should we go and pray? Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Qing Bai. In the past two years, these bygone things had begun to appear again. Like seeking blessing in the mountain temple. N. Zhou Qing Bai was also willing. This mountain temple's jaw sticks and candles were burning strong here. It was built on the top of a towering hill. It took more than half an hour to climb up from the foot of the mountain. Not close at all. Still, there were quite a few people on the road. Many were young men and women. Lin Qing, he heard one girl say, the fortune teller said that we have no fate and will definitely separate in the future. I don't feel comfortable at heart. The young man next to her responded in displeasure, I told you not to believe these things. They are all old feudal things. What society is it now? You insisted on paying two dimes for your fortune. Not a single good words. I saw he got some capability. His predication was accurate with that ante. The girl said. What accurate prediction? It may be his hired act. The young man disgruntledly uttered. Basically, the two of them quarreled with each other as they went down the mountain. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows. At this time, the fortune tellers were so real? The fortune tellers on the streets of later generations were basically a series of skills and tricks. One would spend money to buy a few good words. Lin Qing, he didn't pay it much heed. Same with Zhou Qing Bai. Both of them were sweating on the way up the mountain. If this is close to ours place, I would climb every week. Lin Qing, he couldn't help but said. The vegetation on the mountain was very abundant. What's more, there were stone ladders. It wasn't difficult to climb. Still, it was tiring. Once they reached the top, they felt completely refreshed. The scenery from the top of the mountain was wonderful. Concentrated with spiritual energy and breeding place of good characters. It was more beautiful than mountain and rivers. Simply made on feel refreshed. The couple went to worship together. There was another praying spot in front. But only women went in. Zhou Qingbai didn't go in and waited outside. He also looked around and didn't go far. His wife could see him as soon as she came out. Huh? An old man noticed Zhou Qingbai and walked over at once. He curiously examined him. Zhou Qingbai glanced at him and asked, Old uncle, is there anything wrong? Not right. The old man stared at his face and muttered, From your facial feature, you don't look like a person with long life. At this age, your body should be riddled with sickness. How can you find like this? Zhou Qingbai frowned and looked at him, Are you mistaken, old uncle? What sickness? He was in good health. He took physical examinations twice a year. His wife took hers with him. Even though his age was high, his physical fitness wasn't much worse than that of young people. I'm not. You have no luck according to your face. Your sons won't have a good ending. The old man looked at him and said. Frowning again, he continued, tell me your birth date characters. I'll calculate where went wrong. Zhou Qing Bai's face was already dark, nonsense. My sons are fine. All are college students. Tell me the birth date characters. I won't charge you. The old man stated. Zhou Qing Bai didn't want to talk to him. But judging by this old man's behavior, he didn't seem to be a scammer. If he was a scammer, who would say that? So Zhou Qing Bai gave his birth date characters. Your wife ran away with someone. Your sons are good for nothing. You have three sons. I'm not wrong, right? You never achieved your ambition. I'm not mistaken. The old man calculated his characters and spoke with a perplexed expression. He really couldn't understand how a person with such fate appeared to be in best condition. Zhou Qing Bai's heart skipped a beat. He actually didn't believe this. But his wife broke the norm and made him realize that some things still exist. For example, the old man didn't know him at all, but he knew he had three sons. My wife didn't run with anyone. 
my sons are all college students. Zhou Qingbai stated. That's why I'm surprised. Your fate isn't good. Not good at all. You are destined to marry a bad wife. But now that I calculated, this is a fate deeply embedded with blessing. In the future, you will have an addition of a daughter. What's the matter? The old man said in confusion. Zhou Qingbai was stunned for a moment. Then, he was overcame with joy, you mean I will have a little girl in the future? Yes. Did you change your wife? The old man frowned. No, I only got one wife. However, my wife's age is high, how can she get pregnant? She hadn't gotten pregnant for so many years. Zhou Qingbai immediately descended back down. His mind had been lured away by the fate of having a daughter. He certainly didn't hold hope, but it didn't mean that he didn't want a daughter. Who doesn't want the jewel in the palm? That's because the fate hasn't arrived. Definitely fate of old clam birthing pearl. The old man didn't care about this. He was curious about this person's fate. This was the first time he has encountered such a fate in so long. Did your wife come with you? The old man asked. Zhou Qingbai looked at him vigilantly, what's the matter? Your fate has changed so much. The problem must be with your wife. I want to see her. The old man replied. Zhou Qingbai didn't want to let him see his wife. This old man was too amazing, what's more, he wasn't those kind of liar. This was true learning. Qingbai. However, Lin Qing he came out. When she saw him talking to an old man, she came over. Wife. Zhou Qingbai came over, but he remained vigilant with the old man. When the old man saw Lin Qing, he, he froze. Then he circled around Lin Qing, he, strange. So strange. Where did you come from? Zhou Qingbai's expression changed. While Lin Qing, he appeared calm and looked at the old man, where did old uncle come from? I'm a fortune teller. 100% accuracy. I am called a living god. The old man introduced. Would you like me to burn two sticks of incense for you, old uncle? This is my first encounter with a living god. Lin Qing, he looked at him and said. The old man laughed and spoke, how did you change your fate? It was originally the fate of family destroying, husband and sons, cursing. Now it becomes bless husband and sons. I was saying, how did his fate suddenly change, for the better? It seems to be because of you. Lin Qing, he seriously looked at the old man this time and glanced at her Qing Bai again. This old uncle has calculated out that we have three sons. Zhou Qing Bai told. Truly capable. Lin Qing, he smilingly remarked. I don't have much skill. But can you tell me what's going on with you? The old man inquisitively asked. Chapter 487 Fatherly Heart Old Uncle, What Else Can Be Going On? My mind thought it through and felt it's actually pretty good for a woman to devote themselves to their husband and children for a lifetime. That's it. Although Lin Qing, he was deeply surprised that the old man can calculate these, but she didn't panic at all. She stood upright and had no guilty conscience. The old man frowned. How can the fate number be changed so easily? Old uncle, it's enough that we can have a good life now. Don't worry about the rest so much. Old uncle, don't be so curious. We are just ordinary people. Lin Qing, he stated. The old man didn't comment and just said, fine. I won't ask more since you don't want to tell me. This is for you. He took out a talisman and handed it to Lin Qing, he. Is this a spiritual talisman? Lin Qing, he looked at him. It's very rare for me to draw one. If you don't want it, then I will take it back. The old man said. Zhou Qingbai took it and asked, how much is it? No need to give money. So you won't think I'm cheating money. The old man waved his hand and left with his own bundle. Lin Qing, he swept a glance at his back before looking at the talisman in Zhou Qing Bai's hand and said, Then keep this? Keep it. Zhou Qing Bai replied. 
This old man was quite capable. Since he was willing to give them a talisman like this, then he will keep it. Lin Qing, he took it in hand and examined it, the drawing is pretty good. Just don't know if it was her illusion, she felt that this talisman really had some effect. So Lin Qing, he put it away. In this treasured feng shui land of the capital city, who knew how many capable people and unique beings there were hidden. It was extraordinary to tell another's fate by their facial feature. Naturally, Lin Qing, he didn't know that there were very few people in the profound sect like this old man. Those at his level was even less. Zhou Qingbai didn't care about anything else. On the way back, he mentioned that old uncle said that we will have a little girl in the future. Lin Qing, he was shocked. When did you hear about it from him? I didn't hear it. He said when you weren't present. Zhou Qingbai answered. Lin Qing, he saw how happy her Qingbai was and immediately wanted to go back and give the old man an earful. How old was she now? Already thirty-something. Truly would be an advanced age pregnancy, okay? Can she still have a daughter? And Lin Qing, he didn't have a strong desire to give birth. Her son could get married. If he got married early, she would be the age of a grandmother. Still, have children? Thinking about it, she felt scared. Also, she had been legated. There had been no news for so many years. Was she still able to get pregnant in the future? Lin Qing, he felt it was unlikely. Keep it at listening and no more. Lin Qing, he said. Seeing how happy he was, she couldn't bear to pour cold water on him. Zhou Qingbai was worried about his wife's body. But the old man had said his wife was destined to give him a daughter. It can't be wrong. Wife, do you want this daughter? Zhou Qingbai asked. He did want a daughter. There was no doubt about it. But no matter how important a daughter was, it wasn't as important as his wife. Lin Qing, he mentally responded that she really didn't have that plan. Life at the moment was great. Why stir up so much? She knew her own man. He really wanted one. So she'll leave it to fate. She was already legated. What was there to avoid? So she answered, if we have one, we will birth. If we don't, don't be disappointed. N. Zhou Qingbai agreed. The couple came out to play for three days. Probably due to knowing that they are fated to have a little girl, Zhou Qingbai worked particularly vigorously after returning home. He even called Ma Qingmen to decorate the seventh shop and prepare to open it. The seventh shop was bought together with the dry goods shop back then. It had been vacant until now. Zhou Qingbai intended to open another clothing store. After all, the clothing store was very profitable. Currently, the family income was high and a large bulk of it was due to the clothing stores. So why not keep opening one? He wanted to save a sum of money for his daughter. So, better make more money while he can work now. After all, he was certainly not young anymore. How can he not leave more securities for his daughter? Zhou Gui Lai and the others sensed his dad's different mentality and high motivation. Mom, what agitated my dad? Why do I feel that he is closing the dumpling shop and going into other big business? Zhou Guelai spoke. Lin Qing, he can't answer. Even she didn't understand her family's Qing Bai's mind process. Still, Lin Qing, he knew very well that this man believed the old fortune teller's words and thought there will be a girl. So, he was probably started planning on the dowry to girl to daughter? Actually, Zhou Qingbai wasn't suitable for business because he wasn't the kind of double face, three knife person who speak human to human and ghost to ghost. He couldn't master the smoothness and slyness of those businessmen. But this realistic man had a heart full of fatherly love. He even ran all the way to the west side of the city and bought several dilapidated properties. It didn't cost much. Since those properties were bought, the land was counted as him. He listened to his wife's words. In the future, every inch of land in the capital was worth a lot of money. So he bought a few more house and lands. Then, they won't do badly in the future. 
Lin Qing, he knew he was busy these days, but didn't know what he was doing. When he took out several land deeds for her to keep, the corners of Lin Qing, he's mouth, twitched. Although these houses are a bit dilapidated, the lands are good. They will definitely be valuable in the future. Buy a few more places to keep, so we won't be short of money in the future. Zhou Qing Bai stated. Lin Qing He. I haven't encountered any good location. Those are relatively scarce, but I have gave someone a heads up. If there is a good location, they will come to the dumpling shop to find me. Zhou Qing Bai took a sip of tea and said. All right then. Lin Qing, he had a thousand words to utter, but in the end, she only responded this. As long as he was happy, it was fine. Don't tire yourself. Pay more attention to rest. Zhou Qing Bai continued on. I'm not tired. Having lectures to give is comfortable. Lin Qing, he said. She found her Qing Bai's current behavior a bit eyesore. She left him be. Once the weather cooled down, she started to make beef jerky. This was to be sent to her eldest. She had bought a lot of beef back. Mom, this beef jerky is delicious and chewy. Save some for us. Zhou Gui like greedily said. Leave three jeans for you guys. Lin Qing, he responded. She planned to prepare the remaining ten caddies of beef jerky and send it to her eldest son. The beef jerky was ready in November. Lin Qing, he sent it out, by express, without much delay. Although she knew that his eldest won't go hungry, Lin Qing, he still wanted to send some over. Naturally, there was also a letter from home. Chapter 488 No Sense of Crisis When Zhou Kai came back from the mission, the stand guard called him. Who in their camp didn't this fierce commander? There is a big package for you. It was sent to you the day before yesterday. I had kept it for you. Did my mom send it? Zhou Kai thought of his mom when someone sent something. Only his mom would send him something. That I don't know. Take a look. From the capital. The guard said. Zhou Kai knew that his mother must have sent it here. As expected, she sent a lot of beef jerky. All were five-spiced. Just smelling, he can tell it was very flavorful and delicious. But what Zhou Kai was focused on was the family letter. His mother told him about the situation at home. Nothing much happened, so he didn't have to worry about home. And to take good care of himself outside. Zhou Kai came over to the upper side. He had especially brought two jeans of beef jerky. He brought three jeans to the military hospital. Wang Mei Jia was there. When he came, Wang Mei Jia was busy. Nurses didn't have it easy. Especially when since there were many military families here as well as many children. They often cried and threw tantrum. Half an hour had already gone when Wang Mei Jia finished her work. Why are you free? Wang Mei Jia asked. My mother sent over beef jerky. I brought you some. Keep it for yourself. Zhou Kai handed her the bag and said. There were three paper bags inside. Each was a gene of beef jerky. Aunt Lin is really kind to you. When Wang Mei Jia heard that it was sent by Lin Qing, he, she immediately grinned. She accepted it from him without any reservation. How's work recently? Zhou Kai asked again. Very good. I gotten accustomed to it. Wang Mei Jia replied. She really liked this job even though she was really busy. Don't fall in love prematurely. I heard a few boys at our side mentioning you. Zhou Kai warned. He felt that he was an older brother. He had the obligation to watch out. Wang Mei Jia immediately laughed. What did they say about me? Didn't say anything. Just don't have any good intentions toward you. Leave them alone. If they dare to bother you, just tell me, and I'll just take care of it. Zhou Kai stated. Only saying the military hospital got a young and beautiful woman. What's more, with a high degree of education. Many wolf cubs had their thoughts on her and wanted to pursue her. 
When Zhou Kai heard it, he increased the training task. He trained a lot of people until they were exhausted on the ground. Let's see if there was any heart to think about these. In fact, the majority of the little cubs that Zhou Kai mentioned were older than him. He was only 19 this year, but whether it was his academic qualifications or his own abilities, it was respect garnering. Especially the completed missions. The two missions in a row weren't easy, and he had completed them beautifully. Basically, no one underestimated him and was dissatisfied because he was still young. There were also those who were dissatisfied. They stood up and had a battle. Then they get beaten down within three rounds. Wing Mei Jia looked at him and said, The way you are now. If Aunt Lin sees, Aunt Lin would tell you off. Did you get another mission? He was a shade darker. Also, a lot thinner. That's nothing. It's only right too. Zhou Kai responded before reminding her, Don't casually date. You are still young. Hurry up and go. Wang Mei Jia didn't want to talk to him anymore. She wasn't young anymore. Zhou Kai frowned at her reaction. The little neighbor sister. He didn't want her to marry so soon. Even if she wanted to marry, she had to show him how the other person was. He didn't have say much though. Just went back first. A piece of blockhead. Wang Mei Jia murmured as she watched his tall and valiant back. Such a tall man attracted the whole hospital. Many old ladies asked Wang Mei Jia where this little brother was from, married or not, and so on. Obviously, wanted matchmake. Wang Mei Jia answered them all. Afterward she muttered in a low voice, still talking about me. Wherever you go, people eye on you. She kept one of the three genes of beef jerky for herself. The remaining two genes were divided between her eldest brother and second brother. One gene each. Aunt Lin gave it. Wen Guiliang brought it to his eldest brother and said. His mouth was munching on a piece of beef jerky. It was really chewy. I haven't seen this Aunt Lin. Wen Guidong said. He rarely went home. Still, he knew the relationship between his family and old Zhou family was close. A while ago, he talked with their mom on the phone. Wang family's eldest, Wang Guidong, heard his mom mention that she had gone to the hot springs with this Aunt Lin. From this, one can hear that the relationship was good. Aren't you going back this year? When that time comes, have a look. Mom wants to introduce Aunt Lin's niece to you. Wang Guiliang jollily said. Wang Guidong shook his head helplessly. His mom was anxious about his affairs now. But he was really in no rush. He would naturally find someone when fate arrive. Let's put aside Wang family's side. Lin Qing, he received a call from her eldest son on Monday. He called when she was about to pack her things and go home. Lin Qing, he spoke, if you were a bit slower, I would have gone home and won't be able to answer your call. Mom, your beef jerky is so delicious. These mates of mine enjoyed it so much that they all want more. Zhou Kai smiled. All right. Mom will make some for you and send it over. Lin Qing, he grinned. No need. You sent enough from last time. You don't have to spoil them. Zhou Kai said, Mom, how are you doing? All is good. Don't worry about home. Your grandparents and your god-grandfather are in good health. How's your side? Lin Qing, he asked. No need to worry about my side. Zhou Kai answered. The mother and the son chatted. Then Lin Qing, he asked about Wing Mei Jia and Zhou Kai said, that Mei Jia is so beautiful that many wolf cubs are eyeing on her. Hearing what he said, Lin Qing he uttered in displeasure, I'm telling you. Protect Mei Jia well. What wolf cubs? Kick them all aside. I'm familiar with your aunt Wang. If you keep a good eye, then don't come back during the new year. TSK. It seems that Mei Jia have your favor. Zhou Kai responded. That's right. The eldest daughter-in-law candidate in my heart. Lin Qing, he said. 
Zhou Kai wanted to laugh. How old was he now? And how old was Mei Jia? He didn't comment anything though. He merrily talked with his mom for a while, before he hung up the phone. Lin Qing, he complained to Zhou Qingbai when she got home, he's 19 already and still won't open up. He doesn't feel any sense of crisis when he sees people pursuing Mei Jia. Zhou Qingbai didn't care about this. He spoke, tomorrow is a day off. Shall we go to the hospital for an examination tomorrow? Okay. Lin Qing, he had no objection. Her family got two physical examinations every year. Once in the middle of the year and once at the end of the year. Chapter 489, Prospective Son-in-Law, Come Home The Physical Examination Report, declared they were at healthy standards. Lin Qing, he took a look at her Qingbai. This old man looked a little disappointed. She knew what he was thinking. She truly felt that she couldn't get pregnant. She would have been pregnant long ago. One must know that the older she gets, the older he gets. And her physical fitness will decline. There was no reason why she can't be pregnant when she was young. Then she becomes old and gets pregnant. It'll take its toil. It's fine. Zhou Qingbai put away the report after a while and said. Lin Qing, he didn't know what to say. This old man got tricked by the old man, but he himself believed it. That was to say, she didn't know what the old man said this that day. If she knew, then she would ask clearly what is going on. What did he mean by she was destined to give her Qing Bai a daughter? And something about old clam will definitely birth a pearl. Lin Qing, he wasn't pregnant, but Zhou San and I, who had came over and received treatment for a few months, came out with good news. Counting it, it had been almost a year since she got married. At this time last year, Li Aigua happened to marry Zhou San and I back. Although she hadn't been pregnant for a year, for a good meal, there was no fear of it being late. It can be seen that this child was blessed. When Zhou San and I and Li Aigua were in the countryside, it had tormented them. Zhou San and I had often tear up because of this matter. Although Li Aigua didn't say, but which man at this age, didn't he want his wife and children to warm the Kong head? None. So when Zhou Sanni's baby arrived, he was overjoyed. Mother Zhou's side found out and asked Su De Lin to kill a chicken and send it over. I thought there was something wrong with their bodies. They didn't get pregnant until now. Fortunately, they have it now, otherwise everyone will gossip. What is there to gossip? The couple are living well. And they just got married. Zhou Xiaomei responded. How can it be said like say that? How old is Aigua? He's about to be in his thirties. Mother Zhou stated. Zhou Xiaomei didn't comment. This was the truth. San and I wasn't in a hurry. However, Li Aigua wasn't young either. He was ten years older than San and I. This age was indeed high. But as long as Li Aigua treated San and I well, there was nothing that can't be accepted. When Wang Yuan and Zhou Er and I dropped by here, they also heard about it. Wang Yuan immediately appeared envious and glanced at Zhou Er and I. Zhou Erni's face reddened from his gaze. Er and I, when shall we go to see father and mother? Did Fourth Aunt talk about the holiday dates? Wang Yuan said. This was spoken in front of Mother Zhou. It had Mother Zhou overjoyed. Look at this grandson-in-law, and then look at that grandson-in-law. This was a difference of a world. What time is it now? It's too early. Zhou Er and I blushed. It had just entered December. The holiday will generally be around mid-December. No rush. Besides, your factory hasn't close for holiday yet. Got to wait for your side to finish before going back. No problem if you get delayed. Mother Zhou merrily said. Wang Yuan responded, I want to take Er and I to stay for a few more days. Mother Zhou became happier, but she still warned, I'm afraid our home is too rudimentary and you won't be used to it when you're there. After coming here, Mother Zhou realized the gap between urban and rural areas. 
the adobe houses in the countryside would definitely not be appreciated by the city folks. Of course, eldest son and eldest daughter-in-law had already built a brick house, which was very spacious and bright. No, I won't be unaccustomed. I happen to want to see where Aaron I lives. Wang Yuan said. If you are disappointed after seeing it, you have to say it directly. Zhou Aranai stated. Wang Yuan swept a glance at her and smiled, I won't be disappointed. Zhou Aranai returned an amused eye roll to him. The two of them were going to watch a movie in the evening. So they left after eating there. Zhou Si and I also came here to eat today. She didn't plan to go back after she had cleaned up the dishes. She can stay at this side too. CNI, will you go back this year? Mother Zhou asked. I won't go back. Zhou CNI paused before hesitatingly saying. There was nothing to do when she go back. She had been in the village for so many years. She wanted to see the New Year atmosphere in the capital. Mother Zhou sighed softly, grandmother hasn't been back in years. To be honest, Mother Zhou really wanted to go back to her hometown to have a look. Now she had such a good life with her old man, but the old relatives and girlfriends in her hometown didn't know. She got to go back and talk to them about the prosperity out here, right? In simple words, Mother Zhou wanted to go back and show off. But just the thought of the journey to the capital that year, Mother Zhou had lingering fears. She was motion sick and couldn't stand the swaying. On top of that, she was old bone. So she only thought about it. Grandmother, my second brother-in-law is so rich. I don't know if he can like our home when he go back. I heard my mother mentioned that Sister Xing Mei's guy didn't even have a meal at her home when they went back she didn't even eat a meal at home. Josie and I told the truth. She was a little worried. Although this brother-in-law, Wang Yuan, didn't say anything, she always took it in, since she came. He treated her elder sister well. However their family was indeed poor. This was the truth. Wang Yuan is not that kind of person. Besides, your mother will definitely clean up in advance and tidy up the house. Different from Xing Mei. Mother Zhou assured. Zhou Si and I vowed, I won't find anyone in the capital. I will go back to the village to marry. Mother Zhou was reluctant. Still, she said, it's not so easy to marry in the capital. Don't look at Ernie's current appearance. Her mother-in-law is very dissatisfied with her. Thankfully, there is Wang Yuan. Otherwise, how can life be smooth? Better find one at similar level back at home. Life will be easier. Zhou Si and I nodded. The business under Lin Qinghe's name, the small workshop, was the first to close for holiday. Both shifts were let off. However, the three clothing shops, plus the fourth clothing shop opened by Zhou Qingbai a while ago, the beverage shop, dry goods shop, and dumpling shop had yet to be close. Lin Qing, he planned for the formal holiday to begin at the end of December this year. Before that, on the 20th of December, she let Zhou Er and I off for holiday first, because at this time Wang Yuan's garment factory got its annual holiday. Wang Yuan wanted to go back with Er and I. It was time for this prospective son-in-law to meet the family's elders. So she granted Zhou Er and I a leave. On the next day, Zhou Er and I departed with Wang Yuan, whom carried the two luggage. Inside were the capital's specialties. The two of them hopped on the car back to her hometown. Counting the days, Zhou Er and I hadn't went back for a long time. She was excited. Seeing her like this, Wang Yuan grinned. Chapter 490, Can't Drive Away Lin Qing, he called eldest sister-in-law when they departed. They caught a ride this year? All right. I'll go and clean up my house. Eldest sister-in-law was delighted and rushed to say. While they were at it, they chatted for a while. Then eldest sister-in-law hung up the phone. The village branch secretary's wife jollily asked, what's the situation? I can see it got you excited. Until now, eldest sister-in-law had never revealed that Zhou Er and I found a match in the capital. 
she was afraid that it would become a joke if it wasn't a success. So she didn't say a word. But now the other party was coming back with Air and I for New Year's greetings, it can't be kept secret. It would seem a bit pretentious if she didn't to mention it now. So eldest sister-in-law brought it up to the village branch secretary's wife. She smilingly spoke, but don't spread it out. Better not make it seem like the family wanted to go out and show off. The village branch secretary's wife was very surprised. She originally knew that Air and I was coming back for the new year. After all, she hadn't come back for many years and Air and I had always been a good lass. In fact, none of eldest sister-in-law's three daughters were bad. Not something second sister-in-law can compare. That was why the village ranch secretary's wife planned matchmake her maternal nephew during this trip back. She didn't expect Air and I to get a match in the capital. This was marrying to the capital. The village branch secretary's wife wasn't too talkative, so she smiled, I won't say anything. However, Air and I is really blessed. She was going to marry to the capital to enjoy a life of comfort. Really fortunate. Don't know about C and I in the future? Eldest sister-in-law didn't say much. Although it was great for her daughter to get such a marriage, she was actually a little worried. However, she shouldn't think too much. When she returned home, she and eldest brother cleaned up the house inside and out with their youngest son, Tudo. The eldest son will be back this year. Probably on his way back now. Mother, the house is so clean. Do you have to clean up? Tudo was almost 13 years old and was currently a junior high school student. Eldest sister-in-law stated, in the next two days, kill all the remaining chickens. Clean up the chicken shed, so there aren't any smell. I'll go. Eldest brother nodded. Tudo spoke, second brother-in-law won't dislike our home. With eldest paternal aunt's family's cousin-in-law as an example, fourth aunt and second sister will make it clear to second brother-in-law. Since he is still willing to come, it indicates that he will not care too much about this. After all, the house was really clean. Even the firewood was neatly arranged. There was not a speck in the yard. Because his parents knew that they were going to welcome this brother-in-law from the capital this year, they even paved the yard with masonry. So it really wasn't dirty. Even if your second brother-in-law doesn't care, we have to tidy up the house, eldest sister-in-law replied. Zhou Yang returned the next day. Zhou Yang's temperament became more and more gentle after going to college. Whole person. Was enveloped with scholarly aura. He had always been humble. After return to the village, he remained like that even when the village branch secretary came to sit at their home and asked about the university. After sending the guest away, Zhou Yang showed a bit of exhaustion. After all, it wasn't close to come back from the provincial city. Mother, why did our house become like this? Zhou Yang smilingly remarked. When he first entered the house, he almost didn't recognize it. It was really clean. Many of the furniture had been replaced with new ones, such as tables and chairs. You don't know yet. Your second sister is going to bring her match back one of these days. Eldest sister-in-law merrily answered. Zhou Yang was a little surprised, and uttered, when will they come back? I have to pick them up. They just departed yesterday. Eldest sister-in-law replied. Zhou Yang calculated the time. Then he took his brother out. He returned to the village on his third uncle's bicycle. He got his brother to ride old Zhou family's bicycle to the station in the county city and waited. The first day, he got the expected time wrong and couldn't wait for their arrival. The next day, they finally encountered Wang Yuan and Zhou Ernie's arrival. The two brothers had waited for half of the day. What are you doing here? Zhou Er and I saw them with a look of surprise. Mother told us to come over and wait for you, second sister, Zhou Yang answered. Then he looked at Wang Yuan and called out brother. Tu Do followed suit and greeted with brother. Because their second sister hadn't married over yet, so they called brother instead of brother-in-law in the countryside. 
This is my eldest younger brother, Zhou Yang. And this is my youngest brother, Tu Dou. Zhou Er and I introduced. What Tu Dou? My name is Zhou Wang. Tu Dou said with a flushed face. Okay. It's Zhou Wang. Wang Yuan merrily responded. The two younger brothers of his wife's family were good. He had a good impression of them. Brother, let's drop by third uncle and third aunt's shop before going back. Zhou Yang said. We should. Wang Yuan nodded. On the way back, his wife told him that third uncle and third aunt's family had migrated out of the village to open a shop in the county city. Third brother and third sister-in-law hadn't went back. Although there wasn't much to sell at this time, third brother had stored up a lot of eggs and frozen fish in the backyard before the snow fell. They planned to sell it at this time. It was the end of the year. Business will be particularly good. Generally, they have to stay here until 28th or 9th before returning to the village. This year, third brother and third sister-in-law had also built a brick house in the village. It was built before it snowed. It was quite spacious. People in the village often felt that old Zhou family's first branch, third branch, and fourth branch were successful. When third brother and third sister-in-law saw Zhou Er and I, they froze. After Zhou Er and I went to the capital, she hadn't come back. And because of haven't seen her for so long, it seemed the change was huge. If they encountered on the street, third brother and third sister-in-law might not dare to say it was her. This was their niece, from the past, Er and I. Eldest sister-in-law thought you were coming back yesterday. Unexpected, your arrival was toady. Yang Yang and Tu Dou had came here yesterday and waited for a day. Third sister-in-law smilingly said. Zhou Er and I blushed. Yesterday, they could catch a ride back. Although it was a bit late, it didn't matter. However, Wang Yuan said that he was uncomfortable, so they found a guest house. Although they asked for two rooms, Wang Yuan misbehaved and persisted on sleeping in her room last night. She couldn't drive him away. Of course, nothing happened. Purely sleeping. She had wrapped herself in the quilt tightly. Wang Yuan had a thick-skinned face and jollily responded, the first time I took such a long journey. It was quite late yesterday, so we found a guest house in the city for a temporary rest. I didn't expect to make two brothers-in-laws to wait for a day. He had slept with his wife for a night, even when his wife was too conservative and didn't let him take any of her advantage. It was extremely comfortable. Chapter 491 Nauseous When the group went back, third sister-in-law said, I was saying how did Er and I get a Mac with such a good condition. She got dressed up by Qinghi. I didn't recognize her anymore. Third brother looked happy, Er and I brought back a good one. Third sister-in-law mentally remarked that it was unordinary good. Not only was he a big boss of a big factory, but also got the looks and talents. Where can one find this? Most importantly how he treated them. Polite and well-educated. No wonder, Ching, he said that her parents-in-law were deeply satisfied. It was evident that he fancied Er and I. Wang Yuan rode a bicycle with Zhou Er and I on. Zhou Yang rode another with his brother behind. The group of people came back to the neither far nor near village. The journey back wasn't easy to travel. Still, Wang Yuan didn't mind. Once Zhou Er and I saw the village, she spoke, in front is our Zhou Jia village. Most of Zhou Jia village were surnamed Zhou. All those surnamed Zhou were somewhat related on their ancestor level. Still, the branches were far apart. A good few had a bad relationship with each other. The three siblings came back along with a young man with a great appearance. The youth with good temperament carried Zhou Er and I back. Instantly, it spread through the village. Then it spread even further through the mouth of the village branch secretary's wife. When Zhou Lu and I heard the news, she was stunned. Immediately. She ran home to look for her mother. Second sister-in-law was making sticky bean buns. 
When she saw her coming back, she scolded, You lazy bum, where are you did you run off to when we're so busy? When it's time to eat, you eat a lot. Then it comes to work and you hide faster than anyone. Mother, don't talk about this. Do you know? Air and I came back with a match. A match from the capital city. I heard that he looks impressive. One can tell he is rich at first sight. Zhou Lu and I anxiously said. Second sister-in-law froze, Air and I is back? And brought back a capital city partner? I heard that he is a successful person. Zhou Lu and I emphasized. Go and call your father. Second sister-in-law quickly urged. Second brother was napping. There was nothing to do in the winter. What would one, if not sleep? The key factor was mental exhaustion. His eldest brother and his third brother have all brick houses, while he still lived in the room allocated by his parents. Second brother felt aggrieved. But when second brother heard that his niece, Air and I had brought her match back, he had to get up and go over and see. Zhou Lu and I wanted to follow him. Second brother said in a huff, you stay at home. Father, I want to go over and have a look. I haven't seen Sister Air and I for a long time. Zhou Lu and I refused to obey and insisted on following. Second brother had no choice but to bring her over. When Zhou Lu and I saw Zhou Air and I looking almost like a city girl without a sign of rustic rural flavor, she felt sour. Almost comparable to lemon juice. Extremely sour. Her fourth aunt was too biased. She dressed Zhou Air and I so prettily and so trendy. One got to know, in terms of looks, she was much better than Zhou Air and I. Zhou Ernie's appearance was at most not ugly. Zhou Lu and I also saw Wang Yuan. She was even more sour and jealous. First impression, this man was rich. Definitely rich. At first glance, he was unordinary. Also, he had a household registration in the capital city. How did he like Air and I? Zhou Lu and I didn't stay there. She would probably die from sourness if she stayed any longer. Second sister-in-law was also waiting for news. Whether it was first branch or third branch, she had never went over to help with the meals during the house construction. Now the relationship was really bad. So second sister-in-law didn't go over. Seeing her daughter return, she spoke, really brought back a match from the capital? Would it be fake? Zhou Lu and I was sick to death. If she went to the capital back then and successfully stayed, would she be like this now? With her methods and appearance, she would definitely be able to find boyfriend in the capital. Who could have thought her fourth aunt would be so cruel and sent her back directly? Take a look at how well off Zhou Air and I was now. How beautiful were those clothes? It was as good as the people in the city. If she was allowed to stay in the capital at that time, she could be the same. That match is really that good, asked second sister-in-law. Looks young and promising. Zhou Lu and I answered in dissatisfaction, Mother, say, why is fourth aunt so unfair? She's so nice to eldest uncle's family and to third uncle's family. But only to our family, she didn't give any care? Even the position, she would rather give it to outsiders over me. Second sister-in-law didn't speak. Was this not her thoughts too? She brought two of First Branch's girls to the capital. Zhou Yang was also promoted by her. She gave Third Branch the capital to open a shop in the city and also bought a motorcycle. Wu and I, a girl, also passed the college entrance examination. Only for her second branch, basically received nothing. There was never a time Lin Qing, he didn't look down on her. Second brother came back soon. He will go over to eat in the evening. Er and I and Wang Yuan just returned and were tired, so he didn't want to disturb them. Father, Sister Er and I became so good after she went to the capital. Sister C and I went to the capital and will definitely become like this in the future. Become like the people in the city. Since you can converse to fourth uncle and fourth aunt, how about you help me say a few words? I will definitely bring you such an excellent son-in-law from the capital back and let our family have face. 
Seeing her father come back, Zhou Lu and I won't give up and stated. You? Second brother gave her a strange look. Why do you still say this kind of thing? Father, I am your daughter. Zhou Lu and I couldn't help utter. Second brother nodded and said, Because you are my daughter, I know your character. Don't think about going to the capital. With the way you are, you can't help with anything when you're there. Your fourth uncle and fourth aunt have to take care of your grandparents. They don't have time to take care of you as well. These words were very straightforward. Second sister-in-law's face was ugly, family head, why do you talk like this? Didn't I say it clearly enough? What kind of character is your own daughter, don't you know? Second brother looked at her. He wanted to compliment his daughter and also desired that his daughter can bring a capital son-in-law back to Garner face. But the key thing was, can this daughter suitable? Come on. This year, she will be 18 after the new year. It's time to get married. You can find someone to marry Lu and I. Anyway, she is so lazy. Can't expect to keep her at home to do work. Second brother, continued. Second sister-in-law, didn't refute and said, I'm already keeping an eye out. Zhou Lu and I was vexed. Why Zhou Er and I can marry a partner from the capital and she can't. But her father won't budge. Zhou Lu and I turned around and went back to the room. She sulked on her calm. She realized she felt nauseous and wanted to vomit. Chapter 492 A horse doesn't know its face is long in the hometown, Wang Yuan stayed at his wife's home. Back to the capital side. Old Zhou family was also preparing for the new year. Mother Zhou had made braised ducks. She learned it from an old lady in the park and bought two ducks and tried it out. First, marinate the duck meat. When they want to eat it, get some and stir fry it. It was also very delicious. When she finished it, she called Hu Zi to send it over. In addition, there were two killed chickens, which were prepared for this side. Lin Qing, he had let go of the rain. The food at home was all prepared by Zhou Qing Bai. For example, this year, they had stocked a lot of lamb chops and beef. With the deepening of the reform, these meats in the market were becoming more and more abundant. As long as one had money, they don't have to worry about not being able to buy them. Lin Qing, he liked the mutton and wolfberry soup her family, Qing Bai, stewed for her in a small soup cup. Small soup cup lamb chops was put in. So the cup of soup was particularly flavorful. Lin Qing, he felt satisfied every time she drank it. It wasn't just the mutton soup. There were also other soups, such as chicken soup. Lin Qing, he had been drinking these this winter, resulting her cheeks to be rosy. When Mother Wing came over to see her, she was a little surprised, Qing He, what have you eaten? This face is round. Lin Qing, he dryly coughed. She did pay attention to body maintenance, but don't know what was up with her family's, Qing Bai. His cooking skills had improved a lot. Every soup he stewed seemed to taste like love. She didn't really want to drink it, but she couldn't resist. She often had red bean and red date kanji. He privately turned on the stove for her alone. No one else had it. Red bean and red date kanji, in addition, it was a holiday break. So, she relaxed and gained weight. So her figure uncontrollably became a little bit fatter. Are you free tomorrow? Wang Yuan's car key is with me. I plan to go to the hot spring. Call old Wang and let us go together? Lin Qing, he said. Wang Yuan's car was parked here. He gave her the car keys. Lin Qing, he drove it to the small workshop and parked it there. It could be used. Mother Wang kind of missed the hot spring. Plus the weather was cold. It was time for it, so she said, okay, we'll go tomorrow. Lin Qing, he sought Zhou Qing Bai and told him about it. Zhou Qing Bai had no objection. From the start, he spoiled his wife. Now it was even more limitless. As long as his wife speaks, there was no way he'll disagree. 
So the next day, Zhou Qingbai and Lin Qing, he picked up Father Wang and Mother Wang and the two couples came to the hot spring together. It was the 27th of December. The dumpling shop was closed. Only the beverage shop and the dry goods shop were left open. They continued to do business. So it was a leisurely time for the two Zhou brothers. Just like them, Gang Zi was a little too idle. As for Hu Zi, there was no free time. Lin Qing, he told him to take some clothes and go out to set up a street stall. She gave him a lot of profit space. All the profits were his own. On such cold days, it wasn't an easy job. Still, Hu Zi was very happy. There were still business during the last few days of the year. As long as he can market, it wasn't a problem to make a few yuans a day. In addition to earning this money, he went on dates with Chin Shan Shan. So he was basically in the busy category. Forget it. Let's go to the beverage shop to help. Zhou Gui Lai sighed. There are a lot of people over there. We can't help much if we go. How about going to grandpa and grandma's side? Gang Zi asked. Okay. Zhou Gui Lai nodded and checked with his second brother. Zhou Xian didn't want to go out. So the two of them made way by themselves. When they came over, they encountered old Madame Zhu. Old Madame Zhu asked, Why didn't your sister Hong Xia come with you? Sister Hong Xia got to watch the shop. Gang Zi answered her. Zhou Hong Xia was Zhou Xi and I. She helped at the beverage shop. There was no break during the new year, but she did get double salary. After entering the yard, Zhou Gui Lai said, I wonder why that old lady is inquiring about Sister C and I. Who inquired about C and I? Zhou Xiao Mei happened to come out to pour water, and uttered after hearing these words. Old Madame Zhu from next door. Zhou Gui Lai answered. Because of Zhu Zhenzhen's affairs, Zhou Xiao Mei's impression of old Zhu's family was SOSO. She said, what did she ask? Just to ask why Sister C and I didn't come here. Is Sister C and I familiar with her? Zhou Gui Lai asked. Not familiar at all. Zhou Xiaomei poured out the water and replied. They entered inside together. Mother Zhou was peeling peanuts and watching TV. Zhou Gui Lai and Gang Zi helped her peel them. Peel it off and send it to your sister, San and I. Got to eat more peanuts when pregnant. The child will be white and plump in the future. Mother Zhou said. Okay. Zhou Gui Lai agreed. He and Gang Zi didn't pay old Madame Zhu's question any heed and didn't mention it. However, Zhou Xiaomei was concerned. Out of nowhere, old Madame Zhu cared about CNI. Besides, she wasn't someone who would care for no reason. She told her mother about this. Mother Zhou was shocked, and then said, I haven't heard anything from CNI about conversing with her. You have to tell CNI to watch out. Don't let her go deceive her. Zhou Xiaomei warned. Mother Zhou took this matter to heart. In fact, Zhou Xiaomei had really guessed right. Old Madame Zhu had ideas on Zhou C and I. Originally, Old Madame Zhu looked down on a country girl like Zhou C and I, but it couldn't withstand against her sister's ability. She married to such a big boss who ran a clothing factory by himself and traveled in a car. The whole body's aura gave a rich vibe. If one don't look upon the face of the monk, they would upon the face of the Buddha. When they become relatives, didn't it mean that they have such a big boss as their relative? Then the matter of arranging a good job in the future only required a sentence? Also her fourth uncle's family. They can afford a large truck. Their conditions were good. Then look at Zhou C and I. Although she was from the country and got the rural smell, she wasn't too terrible. She barely matched up to her grandson. So, she had the intention to form a marriage. For this matter, old Madame Zhu intended to ask old Madame Hu to be the middle person. However, old Madame Hu rejected. Old Madame Hu held a grudge against her for ridiculing her for matching Zhen Zhen to Hu Zi last time. So she really didn't want to help this time. 
especially when old Madame Zhu's grandson's conditions weren't so good. So old Madame Zhu could only find Zhou Cni by herself. She wanted to copy old Madame Hu's method from that time and lure old Zhou family's granddaughter. Then she'll let the young ones date by themselves. She didn't believe that girl, Hong Xia, with a rural household registration, could resist the temptation of a capital household registration. The marriage would surely be a done deal by then. Old Madame Zhu was somewhat satisfied with being in-laws with old Zhou family. After all, they were relatively rich. The only regret was that her filial eldest granddaughter had already been arranged to marry and failed to marry Zhou Kai. The honest boy didn't have the luck. Chapter 493 The Great Cause of Making a Baby Zhou Kai, who was said to be out of luck, had no time to come back. But he was invited by Wen Guo Liang at their side to celebrate the new year together. Don't look at how capable Wen Mei Jia was at work, she wasn't very good at cooking. After all, as the youngest daughter in the family, there was no need for her to cook. Just having good academic performance was enough so her cooking skills were average. While Zhou Kai's cooking skills were sufficient. He showed his skills and wrapped the egg dough dumplings. Whether it was Wen Guo Liang or Wen Mei Jia, they were very satisfied with the food. At this time last year, we went to pay a New Year's Eve visit to Aunt Lin. This year we can't go back. Wen Mei Jia remarked. The hospital added a few more surgery bed this year, so she remained. Of course, she could also go back, but she gave the opportunity to a married colleague. Should be able to ask for leave next year and go back. Zhou Kai said. He also wanted to go back, but he really couldn't ask for leave. So he let it drop. It was fine to stay here for the new year. By the way, elder brother is going to transfer to a civil position? Zhou Kai asked Wen Guoliang. He simply addressed Wen Guodong as elder brother. If it is early, he will transfer next year. At latest, it will be transferred the year after that. Wen Guoliang nodded. If one can't get promoted when they reach the age, they will have to retire. However, because the position wasn't low, they will be transferred to a civil position. Then they will have the opportunity to climb up in politics. This depended on their personal ability. Transfer to a civil position is good. If not, your elder brother will soon become an old bachelor and won't find a match at this side. Zhou Kai said. What can't find a match? It's because he doesn't want to find one. It's not that no one introduced someone to him. Wen Guoliang responded. He got a girlfriend recently, but she went home for the new year and didn't stay to accompany him. In fact, there were people dating here. For example, many of the nurses here were girls. Especially new graduates, like his sister, were an excellent choice for soldiers. They were very popular. Even when their appearance was very ordinary, there will be many soldiers who would pursue them. Not to mention his sister, who can receive love letters every day. Those aunts and uncles were very willing to introduce her a match. Mei Jia, if you find a boyfriend, you have to tell your second brother. Second brother will check for you, understand? Some are human-faced, but beast-hearted. They look good, but they are actually not good. Wen Guoliang reminded. About an hour away from here, there was a county city. In that county city, there were some girls who do that business. Some people ran over there during their day off. Wen Guoliang hadn't been there before. Some people sought him to go together. Zhou Kai agreed with this and said, Your second brother is right. Don't casually date. Before you date, we must agree to it. Not to mention Wen Guoliang, Zhou Kai had received these invites. Some soldiers were really very good and reliable. But no matter where they were, there were always good and bad. The words are good. But Wen Guoliang didn't want to look at him when he saw his old classmate won't bloom and gave him an eye roll. Did I say something wrong? Zhou Kai asked in confusion. No. Wen Mei Jia said calmly. She knew about his low EQ a long time ago. 
According to Aunt Lin, he failed to inherit her EQ, whether it was his size or this EQ, he inherited from his father. Tomorrow, I plan to go to the city to buy some apples and oranges and come back to eat. Eat too much meat will me overheated. Zhou Kai said, do you guys want? If you want it, I will bring you some back. Bring more. Wen Guoliang replied. Zhou Kai stayed here for a long time before he went back first. Wen Guoliang rubbed his forehead and said, Mom praised this kid to the sky as peerless. But you can see how he won't open up. No thought in this aspect at all. Wen Mei Jia said, It's pretty good. Wen Guoliang looked at her in amazement, Still pretty good? He's just like elder brother. Simply a blockhead. Not romantic at all. He knew how to be romantic. If not, how can he find a girlfriend? What's more a good-looking one? She went back this year because she hadn't gone back for a long time. If not, she will stay with him to celebrate the new year. She was very good at cooking and often cooked soup for him. Only his kind can please his wife. Wang Meijia smiled but didn't care much. He didn't understand now, so she'll wait for him. Lin Qinghe and Zhou Qingbai, who didn't know that their low EQ eldest son had made the girl secretly vow, was returning with Father Wang and Mother Wang. They had been out to play for a day and had great fun. Lin Qing, he said, it's quite desolate if you two eat it by yourself on New Year's Eve. How about coming over to our home and join our table? This year is mutton hot pot. With more people, it'll be lively. Mother Wang's heart was moved. She looked at Father Wang and said, Then we will join your table on New Year's Eve? Father Wang was helpless and said, Guadong is coming back this year. Really, his wife really didn't treat herself as a stranger. They hadn't become in-laws yet. It won't matter much after they become in-laws. Currently, it was embarrassing. Yes. Guadong is coming back. I almost forgot about him. Mother Wang remembered now. It's okay to bring Guadong and come over. Lin Qing, he said, I haven't seen him yet. Wait until New Year's Day and we'll bring him over to give New Year's greeting. Father Wang said with a smile. Lin Qing, he didn't comment and just said, okay. We will be at home then. Any time will do. The second is better. You are too busy on the first, Father Wang responded. That's no problem either. Lin Qing, he nodded. On the first, the employees will come over. So the house was quite noisy. So forget it. It'll be the second then. Zhou Qingbai was in charge of driving. He had no objection to this. His wife can decide. After sending Father Wang and Mother Wang home, they then drove home. Lin Qing, he said, the effect of this hot spring is really good. She felt her whole body was relaxed. Zhou Qingbai said, since that side have set one up, other places will also as well. Maybe it won't be too far. The driving speed in winter was slow, so it seemed to be a little far away. Even though it was far away, there were a lot of people going there to soak in hot springs. One can see how the business was. And because it was the new year, they even raised the fee. At the beginning of the year, it was only 10 yuan. Even back then, Mother Zhou felt it was too expensive. Right now, it directly went up to 20 per person. About double. According to the current development of the capital, there will definitely be other hot spring in the future. Once they were home, it was late afternoon. Nobody were at home. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai both ate at the hot spring, so they don't need to eat anymore. The couple went out for a day, so they went back to the room to rest first. On the way, they also completed the great cause of making a baby. Chapter 494 Old Young Match If Wang family was going have New Year's Eve dinner with them, then Lin Qing, he planned to open stove in the dumpling shop. Since they weren't coming, Lin Qing, he called everyone and went to join Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's table and enjoy the liveliness. Basically, all the descendants of old Zhou family gathered there. Even Qin Shan Shan was called over to have New Year's Eve dinner with them. 
Old Chen's side had no objection. After all, they were dating and was going to get married. So this year it was okay to come over with Hu Zi for New Year's Eve dinner. For such a large group of people, Zhou Qingbai had to make preparation in advance. He custom ordered two large round tables, which just happened to have enough seating area. Old Wang said, This year's New Year is even more lively than in previous years. Ain't that right? It'll great if it's like this every year. Mother Zhou beamed. Father Zhou was also full of joy, a family that lives in harmony will prosper. Everyone, let's have a toast together. Then all those who can drink alcohol stood up, and those who can't drink had soft beverage. The two tables full was quite a feast. Everyone had a merry New Year's Eve dinner. There was also a spring festival gala on the TV, which was quite lively. After eating, the young children went out for a stroll. Joe Brothers and the others also went out to play. There was no tranquility outside tonight. This year is a beautiful year. Zhou Xiaomei smilingly remarked. Of course, it's beautiful. At our old home, eldest sister-in-law and the others are living well. Lin Qing, he jollily responded. Fourth's wife, is Wang Yuan accustomed to living at home? Did you call back to ask? Mother Zhou asked. I just called today. Eldest sister-in-law came to pick it up. Lin Qing, he answered. Since Wang Yuan went back with Er and I, eldest sister-in-law and eldest brother saw the second son-in-law themselves. The original photo had them satisfied, let alone now. The couple never dreamt about having such a son-in-law? Especially Wang Yuan was really peaceful. Of course, this was also due to his willingness to be peaceful. If he wasn't willing, his attitude can be very arrogant and wild. He was the second generation of power family in thing as well as becoming a rich generation by his own ability. How can he not be arrogant? But toward his father-in-law and mother-in-law, he was approachable. And with his kind of identity, it naturally gave them a better impression of him. When she talked to eldest sister-in-law on the phone, eldest sister-in-law was brimming with joy. Wang Yuan, this child is realistic. I can rest assured with handing over air and I over to him. Mother Zhou was very happy hearing this. Then she looked at Lin Qing, he with a gentle look, it's thanks to Fort's wife's willingness to train air and I and nurtured her so well. If not, the other party might not set his eyes on her. Lin Qing, he couldn't stand the gaze in her mother-in-law's eyes and said, I can't take credit for it. Air and I is studious and willing to learn. On top of that, she is willing to listen. Only then, I would teach. Mother, those who won't listen, I won't teach, even if you want me to. Mother Zhou was a little embarrassed. She straightened her face and honestly spoke, at the beginning, I wanted you to teach Chang Zi. That's all old history. Don't take it out and talk about it. Zhou Xiaomei bowed down to her old mother. Lin Qing, he was now older and has a different mental attitude. What's more, her mother-in-law was certainly not young anymore. So normally, Lin Qing, he wouldn't point her needle to the wheat, especially now it was the new year. They will get married next year and Er and I will move out in the future. Lin Qing, he felt some reluctance. She didn't have a daughter. She taught Er and I with her heart and it was almost the same as her daughter. The property that Wang Yuan bought is over there. Not far away. About ten minutes distance, Zhou Xiaomei said. It's good to live there in the future. They don't need to cook on their own. Just two of them is troublesome right? Just come here to eat with us. Mother Zhou responded. Zhou Xiaomei was also willing, then asked them when the times come if they want to come over and eat. Just a bit more rice. Lin Qing, he looked at Zhou San and I, who was watching the Spring Festival Gala, and gave her two oranges, San and I, how's your appetite? I have a good appetite. Zhou San and I grinned. Li Ai Guo was with Zhou Qing Bai, Su De Lin and the others. They were still drinking and eating snacks. The women let them be. It only happened once a year. It's good that you have appetite. 
eat more oranges and apples. At that time, when your eldest aunt and your third aunt were pregnant, I told them to eat more apples. Look at Tu Dao and Dong Ji. They both look pretty handsome. Lin Qing has said. Is it useful to eat these? Perplexed, Mother Zhou asked. Of course it works. Zhou Xiaomei joined in. When she was pregnant, her fourth sister-in-law told her to buy fruit to eat. She didn't have to eat a lot every day, however, it shouldn't be omitted. At that time, both she and Su Lin had jobs and were a dual-income household. The conditions were excellent. They didn't lack the money, so naturally they bought it. When the baby was born, the skin was very good. And it wasn't easy to get heat rash or something. Zhou Xiaomei had seen heat rash on her nephews and nieces in her maternal family. It wasn't just rash, but also blister, the kind that required red medicine water to cure. Children in the country often get their head shaved and was applied in scatters on their heads. While her few didn't have any of these. All had very good skin. Then you have to eat more. Now we don't have to live in the same way as before. Mother Zhou said to Zhou Sen and I. She knew that the salary fourth's wife, given to the two of them wasn't low. Not mentioning the others, but the apples weren't too expensive. Still affordable. We have. Ai Gua bought a lot of apples, oranges, and bananas and kept them for me to eat. Zhou Sen and I curled her mouth and smiled. Lin Qing, he was satisfied after hearing this. It's good that Ai Gua knows to dote you. Mother Zhou remarked. Zhou Sen and I and Li Ai Gua went back first. They walked back, treated it as going for a stroll. Zhou Xiaomei said, San Ni's marriage isn't bad. Although Ai Gua is a bit older, he really loves San and I. In fact, they weren't very satisfied with the fact that Li Ai Gua is 10 years older than San and I. But now that Li Ai Gua doted on San and I, San and I is more optimistic and cheerful. No more of that solemn appearance, right? So looking at it this way, it wasn't bad. Lin Qing, he reacted and said, Why do I feel that our old Zhou family is full of old and young match? Her Qing Bai was a lot older than her. Su De Lin was a several years older than Zhou Xiaomei. Wang Yuan was six years older than Er and I. Also, Li Ai Gua and Zhou San and I. Zhou Xiaomei laughed. Mother Zhou chuckled as well, it's fine as long as it isn't more than ten years gap. After sitting here until ten o'clock, Lin Qing, he went home with Zhou Qing Bai. Old Wang was sent back by Zhou Gui Lai. By the way, he slept at his god-grandfather's side and spent New Year's Eve together. Old Wang doted his three god-grandsons, and they knew it well. So as long as they had time, they were always willing to accompany their god-grandfather. Whenever Zhou Kai came back during the summer vacation, he had to come over to stay in his god-grandfather's dormitory for the night. Chapter 495 Holding Hands When Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai got home, it was getting late. They were also ready to go to bed. After all, tomorrow was New Year's Day. Many people will come to pay a New Year's greeting. Today cannot be counted as next year. But after today, it will be regarded as the new year of 1984. In 1984, she didn't intend to raise wages. All employees under her won't receive any increase, because the wage level wasn't very low. In addition, in 1985, it was the national wage reform. Lin Qing, he planned to increase with them at that time. Zhou Qingbai checked all the accounts for this year a few days ago. Now he was very idle. The two didn't sleep straight away. They thought about the future together and then they felt sleepy. Zhou Qingbai didn't forget to put his hand on his wife's belly and stroked it. He was looking forward to the New Year's arrival and his little girl following it. If there is a good location next year, he will buy a few more at that time all of which will be reserved for his little girl as a dowry. Or, staying unmarried is fine too. It started to snow in the middle of the night outside, but it stopped the next morning. It also welcomed the first morning of 1984. 
Once the family had breakfast, Ma Ching Min came over with his wife, Huang Xiao Lu, and son, Ma Xiaodan. As for Aunt Ma, she was with Uncle Ma. On the 15th of December, Zhou Qingbai had let her off for vacation. The two of them went over to the frontier to see their eldest son's family. Their eldest son's family settled down in the frontier and couldn't ask for leave. So the old couple went to visit instead. Lin Qing, he had packed a red envelope for Ma Xiaodan. The family sat here for a while before going to their relative's house. Ma Ching Min was a good man, but his wife Huang Xiao Lu was becoming more and more silent now. Because there are some broken mouthed women in the community, they will make irresponsible remarks behind them. Saying, Huang Xiao Lu wasn't worthy of Ma Ching Min. It was due to Ma Ching Min going to the countryside. If not, can Huang Xiao Lu match to Ma Ching Min? Aunt Ma had heard it once. She went straight up and slapped that young wife and dragged her to her home for explanation. Have to say, this was very fierce. But it was also effective. Still, some words reached Huang Xiao Lu's ears. Lin Qing, he didn't know what to say. In fact, she didn't think it was a problem. On most days, Uncle Ma got to go out and help pull goods to make some money, Aunt Ma helped in the dumpling shop. Ma Ching Min was also busy. Ma Xiaodan had to go to school. No one managed the home. It was great that Huang Xiao Lu can work away at home. Judging by the way she was, Lin Qing, he can see had the sign of depression. She had to find some time to talk to Ma Ching Min so he can open her heart. Not long after, other employees also came over. The children all hid outside because they can't stand the crowd. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai entertained them. There was one wave in the morning and another wave in the afternoon. Only then it was over. Today, they won't be eating at Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai opened the stove at the dumpling shop and got Zhou Gui Lai to call his god grandfather over. The whole family ate lamb hot pot together. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai went to see the movie after eating. They had to buy tickets in advance, or else they couldn't get their hands on them. Even so, it was still crowded. Even though, it was New Year's Day, Lin Qing He's beverage shop didn't have a holiday break. It was subsidized with double wages. Qing Yang, Qing Yu, and CNI were in charge there. Because of the cold weather, the beverage and ice cream business, which was particularly popular in the summer, had dimmed a lot. The beverage shop did add other goods. Popcorn, melon seeds, and peanuts were basically sold out every day. The business was also very good. When Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai came out, it was almost half past nine. At this time, the shop was already preparing to close. CNI was picked up by Gang Z and the others ahead of time. Whenever CNI goes back, Gang Z and the others would come to collect her. Ching Yang and Ching Yu were left in the shop. They can go back together, so they don't worry about anything. Lin Qing, he greeted them before leaving with Zhou Qing Bai. A lot of shops have been added to this side this year. Lin Qing, he looked left and right and remarked. In the past, the beverage shop was thriving alone. Many other shops had been opened this year, and the business was booming. Zhou Qing Bai glanced around and said, then we'll see if there is still a shop here after the new year and buy another one? If there is, of course. Lin Qing, he agreed. The profit of the beverage shop was huge, especially now that it was getting prosperous. The profit was increasing every month in the summer. Open a cigarette shop. Zhou Qing Bai said. The cigarette business was very good. He noticed those who set up roadside stalls and their solid business. Lin Qing, he was a little surprised. She didn't expect that he wanted to open a cigarette shop and asked, why do you want to open a cigarette shop? Do something different. Zhou Qing Bai said. Although he didn't smoke, he still felt that cigarette shop's business shouldn't be too bad. Lin Qing, he smiled. Although her family's Qing Bai didn't have that concept, he knew that diversity would make the family's economic income structure more stable. 
So she said, all right, listen to the head of our family. The corner of Zhou Ching Bai's mouth raised slightly. He glanced at his wife and stated, leave this to me. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. Lin Qing, he responded, she would be delighted about not worrying about it. Zhou Ching Bai looked around. It was pretty late at this time and there was no one. So he took his wife's hand. Lin Qing, he looked at him in surprise. Though it was 84 and was reforming, most people dated in private. It was still quite conservative. Few men and women held hands when they went out together. With her Qing Bai's temperament, he can take the initiative to hold her hand? It's okay. There's no one. Zhou Qing Bai said as he stared at his wife with gentle eyebrows. Lin Qing, he curled her lips and smiled. Then she clasped his fingers and went home with her conservative old man. She didn't expect to see Zhang Meihe when they went upstairs. Zhang Meihe was an existence disdained by people and dogs in this area now. She often hooked up with a married man to do business and caused some shrews to tear her apart. However, she was tough and never wavered at all. Still, her reputation was really bad. Zhang Mei, he saw the husband and wife, were actually holding hands. It went without saying how her heart felt. There were many men in the surrounding neighborhoods who wanted to sleep with her, but none of them wanted to marry her home. While Lin Qing, he, that arrogant and overbearing woman, can be doubted by such a man. What was so great about Lin Qing, he? She just got a higher degree and knew how to dress up a little, no? But in the end, she was from the countryside? Chapter 496 Just missing a certificate, naturally, Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai paid her no heed. Still, it was puzzling why Mei he would give up on a good life and persisted on walking this path? No one governed her past matter. Later, she married a widower with children, but she was still climb over the wall. And it ended with a divorce. Since then, she broke the already broken jar. It can only be said that the same rice can raise hundreds of different people. It was only the second day of the new year and Zhang Mei, he came here early in the morning. She waited for her family. She waited until late noon before she saw her sister, Zhang Mei Lian's arrival. Zhang Mei Lian's complexion was pretty good. It was no wonder. The shop business was very good now. Each month, she received more than 200 yuan in dividends. This was much more than when she employed. Why did you only get back now? Don't you know how long I have been waiting for you? Zhang Mei, he said angrily upon her return. Wait for me? Zhang Mei Lian said. On New Year, you're not home. What are you doing outside? Zhang Mei, he asked. Zhang Mei Lian raised her eyebrows and didn't say a word. Zhang Mei, he understood when she saw her reaction. There was a man outside. I say, why are you like this? Zhang Mei he harumphed. One look and one can tell, this was a complexion of someone who didn't lack of a man. What's the matter? Zhang Mei Lian asked. Zhang Mei, he went back to business. It was only when she went home that she heard that this girl had opened a clothing store by herself. She wanted to join in. She had been in business for such a long time and had saved some money. She also knew that she can't go on like this. So, she wanted to partner together. Zhang Mei Lian didn't agree. Her sister's reputation was terrible, how could she let her go there? If people saw her, can they still do business? She counted on the clothing store, so she directly refused, can't partner up. I partnered with someone. Now the business is pretty good. How can the other party be willing to split out a share of dividend? You won't agree? Zhang Mei he said. It's not a question about me agreeing or not. It's that I can't decide on my own. What's more, you have a bad reputation. The other party won't be willing to cooperate with you. Zhang Mei Lian responded. You aren't not at this side, how can the other party know? Zhang Mei, he couldn't help refuted. The person I worked with know you. Zhang Mei Lian stated. 
Upon asking and learning that it was old Zhou family's granddaughter, Su Xing Mei, Zhang Mei he became frustrated and couldn't help saying, then how did she cooperate with you? I am me. You are you. We are different. Zhang Mei Lian said. She didn't like staying at home either. After a meal, she picked up her bag and went directly to Su Xing Chang's dormitory. She lived here right. It had been like this for a while. Mei Lian, I thought you were going to live at home today. Su Xing Chang placed her in his arms and said. I want to spend the new year with you. Zhang Mei Lian curled her lips and smiled. Su Xing Chang was naturally happy. He didn't expect that such a beautiful capital girl would be willing to be with him. Will your sister come over? Zhang Mei Lian continued. If my sister come, then she come. It's fine if she knows about our relationship. Su Xing Chang said indifferently. You don't know. I was deceived by other men before. It led my poor reputation in your uncle's area. Your sister knows it too. And I am a few years older than you. Your sister had married well now. She couldn't possibly set her eyes on me as a sister-in-law. Zhang Mei Lian responded. She married into the capital and she dare not allow me to marry a girl from the capital? Besides, you were deceived in the past and it wasn't what you wanted. I don't mind those matter. Su Xing Chang said. Zhang Mei Lian looked at him and spoke, Chang Zi, I believe in you. I am willing to be with you. I don't care if you got a rural household registration. But you have to strive, understand? You have to work hard to let me live a good life. After the new year, I will go to set up a stall. I will definitely let you live a good life. Su Xing Chang nodded. Setting up a stall isn't a long-term solution. Zhang Mei Lian wasn't satisfied. How can setting up a stall be considered as successful? People looked down on it. Su Xing Chang maintained, it's still very profitable to set up a stall. I can make more than 100 yuan a month. He hawked clothes and made more than 100 yuan a month. This was way better than working in Zhao's factory. Especially when he didn't have take other people's attitude when he was hawking. How good was this? Su Xing Chang was very satisfied with his current life, especially since he chased Zhang Mei Lian. The two became real couple in this dormitory. Just missing a certificate. How much face is gained from marrying a girl from the capital and bringing her back? Who in the village won't envy him when that happens? Zhang Mei Lian didn't say anything. More than 100 yuan. That was not low. The money you earned isn't handed over to me. Zhang Mei Lian stared at him. I'll manage my own money. Su Xing Chang stated. Seeing that she wasn't pleased, he changed his stance and said, When you marry me, I will leave the money to your care. This way it won't be too concrete. Su Xing Mei didn't know that her partner got entangled with her younger brother. What's more, they had planned to find a time this year to go back to the country to take care of the marriage formalities. Zhao family got many relatives. After all, how can there be little networking with such a high-ranking family? Because Su Xingmei had made money this year, she saved a little. So she had more confidence. However, she was still humble as always. At least in front of Zhao family's relatives. What made Su Xing Mei depleted was that people didn't treat her as anything. Instead, they treat her two idle sisters in law with smiles. It was because their household weren't low in the capital, unlike her. She got no root at all. No matter how kind or decent her attitude was, people still didn't take her seriously. On the surface, Su Xing Mei was calm, but it went without saying she was angry. However, people didn't care whether she was angry or not. After returning to the room, Su Xingmei told these to Zhao Jun. Zhao Jun said, Then what do you want? They are all like this. Their family got money, would they give you any good attitude? So in the end, the point was that she had no money. She had married Zhao Jun though. People still looked down on her. Wasn't this Zhao Jun's problem? Tomorrow, I plan to go to my grandparents. 
and also give New Year's greeting to my uncle. You come with me. Su Xingmei said. She didn't really want to go over it. But seeing Zhao family's attitude now, she can't not go. She still needed support from her maternal grand family. If not, who in Zhao family would put her in their eyes? Even though her clothing shop made money, the money was just a fraction of Zhao family's. Zhao Jun didn't want to go, if you want to go, go by yourself. I won't go there to suffer anger. Chapter 497 Hard on wife, last year, when they paid them a New Year visit, who in old Zhou family, gave him a good attitude? Especially at her uncle's side. They didn't even keep them for a meal. Think he likes to sit on a cold bench? What was so great about them? Wasn't it just opening a few shops? As if they were anything great. Their Zhao family's factories had now been fully acquired by them. After the account tallying, this year's revenue had reached 80,000. What kind of money was this? What can Zhou family bring out to compare with his Zhao family's factory? Why should he go over and sit on Zhou family's cold bench? How could Su Xingmei not know what he meant? She said, don't underestimate my uncle's shops. They are very profitable. Maybe it might not be much less than our factory. She had opened a clothing store and knew the profit, which was really good. Especially when the locations chosen by her was very good. There were people coming and going every day and business wasn't bad. Don't tell me this. I don't want to go around. You can take your brother over by yourself if you want to go. Zhao Jun disgruntledly responded. Then you go find my brother and get him over for a meal. It's New Year. Can't possibly let my brother not come over for a meal. Su Xingmei said. Reaching this point, she felt aggrieved. She wanted to ask her brother to come over for dinner on New Year's Eve this year. Even though her brother was a disappointment, he was still her brother. Since he started hawking wares, he made a lot of progress. However, neither her mother-in-law nor her sister's-in-law agreed and told it was enough to pack a portion and send it over. Zhao family planned to eat the New Year dinner on their own. Still, Su Xingmei wanted her brother to come over. Call yourself. Zhao Jun said. If I can, then I wouldn't get you to. Su Xingmei said. If Zhao Jun brought her brother home, the family won't say anything even when they had opinions. And if she went, Zhao family might drive him out straight away. Then both reason and face were lost. Zhao Jun didn't want to go to Zhou family, so he could only go over and call Su Xing Chang. When he came, he discovered that this kid had hidden a woman in the room. When he saw Zhang Meilian, it dawned on him. For once, he showed Su Xing Chang a good attitude, you kid, you got it. Su Xing Chang responded in embarrassment, brother-in-law, don't tell my sister. I know. Now hurry up and go home to eat. Zhao Jun said. Su Xing Chang turned to Zhang Meilian, wait for me at home. I will bring you a share later. Zhang Meilian replied softly, go ahead. I'll be waiting for you at home. At the same time, she didn't forget to glance at Zhao Jun, seeing that Zhao Jun was also looking at her, she immediately lowered her head in shyness. Isn't this your sister's friend? How did you get the ability to get her back to your rented room? And into your hand? Zhao Jun asked. N. Su Xing Chang was quite proud and said, it took half a month. It took him half a month to bring Zhang Meilian to his rented room to live together. Of course, Zhang Meilian rarely went to his place during the day. Only went there at night. Zhao Jun mentally thought, with the way you are and got her in half a month? How good was he in that? Sure enough, when Zhao Jun brought Su Xing Chang back for dinner, Zhao family didn't say anything despite not being happy about it. After eating, Su Xing Chang returned with a midnight snack for Zhang Meilian. Have to say, Zhao family's food was excellent good. Zhang Meilian was satisfied with it. She stayed for the night. The next day she left, before Su Xing Mei came. 
Su Xing Chang was also reluctant to follow her over to Old Zhou's house to give New Year's greetings. Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai were both at home. People came and went during the New Year. When Su Xing Mei and Su Xing Chang arrived, Lin Qing He and the others were watching TV. Lin Qing He didn't say anything about the siblings coming over. Her attitude was SOSO. After hearing Su Xing Mei mention her brother's resignation, Zhou Qingbai said, It's good to go back to the village. It won't be bad when you work hard. What go back to the village? I am now hawking wares. It is very profitable. Su Xing Chang couldn't stand these words and directly uttered, Watch your tone with uncle. Su Xing Mei scolded lightly and then smiled, Chang Zi is now doing it alone. I get the goods from brother-in-law Wang Yuan's factory and he goes out to set up a stall by himself. It's not worse than working to the factory. She got the goods from the Wang Yuan garment factory. Zhou Qingbai knew about it. But when he heard that, he advised, since you set up a stall, do it properly. The most important thing to do in business is to be peaceful. It's not about earning more or less. The main thing is to learn to socialize and handle matters. These remarks were given as his uncle. Even when he was a little disappointed with his nephew Su Xing Chang, he still gave advices with hope for his best. Lin Qing, he didn't say a word from beginning to end. She didn't drive out the siblings directly because of looking upon her Qing Bai's face. Su Xing Mei smiled and agreed. While Su Xing Chang reluctantly said that he'll keep note. They didn't keep them for a meal. Instead, told them go to their grandparents to eat. I said we shouldn't come. They lecture me when I come. Su Xing Chang disgruntledly muttered when he went downstairs. That was how how his business was. Those who want to buy clothes will buy them. If they don't want to, then go away. Do they need to lick their cheeks and flatter others? What's more, the style was good looking. Even when he raised the price, people got to plead him to sell it. As for socializing and handling matters, he didn't need his uncle to teach him. Since he didn't give him a job, then don't govern him so much. Su Xingmei also indifferently remarked, Once you make money, everything you say is reasonable. You have no money now, so you receive lecture in whatever you do. The siblings went to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. Upstairs, Lin Qing, he continued to watch TV and didn't criticize her Qing Bai. He was different from her. She was from outside. So even with Father Lin and Mother Lin, she could break off without worry after seeing their virtues thoroughly. Because there was no so-called family affection at all. Those two were his younger generations. So naturally, he would say a few more words occasionally. But looking at those two's reaction, they might be dissatisfied on the inside. Silly man. If you aren't protected by a cruel and unfeeling woman like me, don't know what will happen to you. Lin Qing, he glanced at him. Zhou Qingbai grasped her hand and said nothing. While the feeling in his eyes came alive. The fortune-telling old man said that his fate wasn't good. He should be sick and at pain at this age and the children wouldn't make progress. After Zhou Qingbai came back, he had thought how if she hadn't come then, maybe he would go home injured and not receive any good treatment. That year, when he came back, she didn't let him do any work and let him get well. She served him well with delicious foods and drinks. Even though she had no feelings for him then. Something wasn't said, but Zhou Qingbai understood in his heart that his wife was flawless in terms of treating him and the children despite occasionally being a little more domineering. It's been hard on wife. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he amusedly gave him an eye roll, watch TV. Don't go on about this. It won't work on me. Chapter 498 Does she dislike me? In the evening, Lin Qing, he came over to find Zhou Xiaomei to go to the bathhouse. Zhou Xiaomei complained, Fourth sister in law, do you know that hooligan, Su Xing Chang, went out to do it alone? It's okay to do it alone, not a big deal, Lin Qing, he carefully responded. Su Xing Chang's temperament can't be changed, nothing can be achieved. 
Even if he does, it will be temporary. Rabbit's tail can't grow longer. But this wasn't what made Zhou Xiaomei displeased. What made Zhou Xiaomei dissatisfied was that Su Xing Chang's attitude towards Su De Lin was very disrespectful. Two times when Su De Lin spoke, Su Xing Chang displayed his impatience to listen and immediately interrupted. He haven't made any money yet and already like this. Only 100 or so yuan a month makes him feel proud. Zhou Xiaomei scolded. Her family didn't eat his old Su family's rice, so what's so great? Her steamed bun shop was also very profitable. A profit of 500 yuan a month was safe estimate. 100 or so already made him like this? Lin Qing, he could imagine without asking. He probably didn't dare to be too arrogant at this side, while at his little uncle in law's side, he acted haughty. Work hard at earning money and strive to buy a house this year. Lin Qing, he changed the subject and said, This year was a very important year. Because next year's wage reform will cause prices to soar. Starting next year, prices will rise in the middle of the year. Especially for houses, which will inevitably also rise. De Lin and I are planning to. However, we're still short a lot. Zhou Xiaomei shook her head. If necessary, just come here to get some first. It's better to buy it early, Lin Qing he suggested. To others, Lin Qing, he won't say much. Zhou Xiaomei and her were friends for so many years. Telling her to buy a house at this time was also giving her a guarantee. Otherwise, it will increase in the future and they may not be able to afford it. Thank you, fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei smiled, when needed, I'll let you know. By the way, if there is a way to transfer the household registration, do you and Delin have any intention to? Lin Qing, he asked. It would be good if it could be moved. I heard that it's not easy to. Zhou Xiaomei hesitated. Now that they were at the capital, Zhou Xiaomei had adapted to the life here. She didn't plan to go back to the county. Even though the county wasn't bad, it was incomparable to the capital. So Zhou Xiaomei intended to live here like this. After all, their career was here, right? She also knew that it was difficult to transfer the household registration. Without connection, one may not necessarily be able to transfer it even when they got few thousand ready for the fee. Sister Wing's eldest son is going to return to the capital this year. Judging from their words, he will probably enter the Civil Affairs Bureau in the future. If there is a way then, I will ask. Lin Qing, he mentioned. On the second day of the new year, Father Wang and Mother Wang had brought Wen Guo Liang to their house for dinner. Naturally, they knew that Wen Guo Liang was about to transfer back home. Maybe he will enter the Civil Affairs Bureau then. It was said he might enter, but it was basically confirmed. In all likelihood, he will work there. Lin Qing, he had this intention. But it also needs some mediation. Lin Qing, he told Zhou Xiaomei. If there were internal connections, the cost won't be that large. Especially when it was safe. A situation like people taking the money and do nothing won't happen. Then fourth sister-in-law, notify me then. Zhou Xiaomei eagerly responded. Lin Qing, he agreed. If we can move the household registration, we will be capital citizen in the future. Zhou Xiaomei said. Since they weren't local, children entering school was a large problem. It required her fourth sister-in-law's connection before they can attend elementary school smoothly. Still, it can't keep going on like this. Better to solve the household registration issue early. The sisters-in-law took a shower and went home feeling refreshed. Naturally, Zhou Xiaomei recounted this matter to Su De Lin and Su De Lin said gratefully, must thank. Fourth C. Sister-in-law. Since the two of them came here, they really received a lot of care from fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei said, when our household registration is resolved, we can buy a house here. Then we will be veritable capital residents. Su De Lin grinned. Although he didn't say it, he liked the capital as well. It was a little bit cold in winter. Other than that, there were basically no faults. 
this, this year, elder cousin. Cousin sister-in-law will, come. Suda Lin said. Come then. When the time comes, find a shop farther away. Don't share location with us. Also, rent the house farther away. The rest is no problem, Zhou Xiaomei responded. Su Dalin nodded. After the fifth passed, the New Year spirit had faded a lot. On the sixth, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai drove Father Zhou, Old Wang, and Su Dalin to the hot springs for a break. As for Mother Zhou, didn't bring. The hot spring was so expensive now. If she was brought, don't think about peace this first month. Mother Zhou felt aggrieved. In fact, she wanted to go too. It was just she felt the price was too expensive. That place won't give a discount due to the large number of people. It was per person. What a cheat. Mother, what are you doing? You look so listless. Zhou Xiaomei remarked when she came back with her two girls. Does your fourth sister-in-law dislike me? Mother Zhou said aggrievedly. Zhou Xiaomei laughed in her heart and internally commented, Fourth sister-in-law doesn't dislike you. She is afraid of you. Since she couldn't afford to provoke, she could avoid. So she won't take you to play. How filial is fourth sister-in-law? Go to the park and ask those old ladies to see which daughter-in-law is like her? Zhou Xiaomei couldn't tell the truth and just uttered. Naturally, Mother Zhou knew and said, but your fourth sister-in-law doesn't want to take me there. That car doesn't have enough room. Wang Yuan's car can hold five people. Zhou Xiaomei pointed out. She really doesn't dislike me? Mother Zhou asked. If she does, would she still respect you so much? How much red envelopes did fourth sister-in-law give you and your father during the new year? Zhou Xiaomei mentioned. When Mother Zhou heard this, her face smiled. Fourth's wife gave her and her partner a red envelope each. A red envelope of 50 yuan. She gave them 100 yuan in pocket money. Speaking of which, since Xingmei lost her previous child, why hasn't she been pregnant yet? Did she gain an illness route the last time? Mother Zhou asked. Zhou Xiaomei didn't want to care about Su Xingmei and responded, Mother, get less involved in these things. They don't desire your care. She won't worry about those who look down on her Dalin. Even when they were her elder sister's son and daughter. It was all the same. Oh, these two siblings. Makes one fret. Mother Zhou lightly sighed, really, your eldest sister. Don't she know how to teach them well? Zhou Xiaomei peeled an orange for her mother and told her to eat it, eat an orange. And stop talking. But old Madame Zhu from next door came over. Mother Zhou's expression faded when she saw her and said in a hypocritical polite manner, how come you got free time to drop by? Chapter 499 Good Calculation Mother Zhou didn't want to make trouble for herself when during the New Year season. Although she didn't want to see old Madame Zhu at all, she was still polite. Old Madame Zhu had just seen it. Zhou Qingbai drove over to pick up Father Zhou and the others. It was said that they were going to the hot springs. They can really enjoy. So, old Madame Zhu came over so soon. She knew Mother Zhou didn't want to see her. In fact, she looked down on Mother Zhou, an old country woman. However, it was for her grandson, from daughter's side, in the end. After all, with such an in-law family, the future of her grandson was bright. Old Madame Zhu didn't mention the matchmaking right away. She chattered with Mother Zhou about gossips. Mother Zhou didn't talk very much. Only answering occasionally. This attitude can be said to be very obvious. So old Madame Zhu couldn't talk about the matter she wanted to say. When she returned home, she told old Mr. Zhu about it. I went over and gave New Year's greeting with good intention and she's still not willing to pay attention to me. Giving face and not accepting it. Old Madame Zhu scolded. Enough. Since she doesn't pay attention to you, then you can go there less. Where did all this matter come from? Old Mr. Zhu responded. How can that do? 
I want to match our grandson to her rural granddaughter. Old Madame Zhu vetoed. Old Mr. Zhu was stunned for a moment. He didn't know that his wife had these thoughts. He uttered an impatience, forget it. That grandson was currently a temporary worker. He didn't have a fixed work unit. Also, his look can't pass. It'll weird if old Zhou family can set their eyes on him. Didn't she see their grandson-in-law? He started his own factory. What? What's the matter? You dislike our grandson that much? What's wrong with him? He's safely working and got household registration in the capital. That girl got rural one. Old Madame Zhu replied in displeasure. Old Mr. Zhu didn't want to talk to her anymore. Instead, he asked, open and close mouth is rural household registration. Then why do you want to introduce her to your grandson? Well, isn't old Joe family's condition good? And that girl's sister is going to marry a big boss. Our grandson's work is also unstable right now. If he gets together with her, then won't her brother-in-law introduce the next one, explained old Madame Zhu. Old Mr. Zhu really didn't consider about this. In fact, there was this point. If it works out, it would be good. In his opinion, he also wanted to be relatives with old Zhou family. After all, old Zhou family was really nice. Not like those cunning and deceitful kind. Go talk to sister-in-law who? Old Mr. Zhu said. It wasn't that old Madame Zhu hadn't sought old Madame Hu out. That old woman still held grudge on her remark on her family, Jinjin's matchmaking matter, from last time. So she wasn't willing to take up the task. However, old Madame Zhu had been neighbors with her for so many years. How could she not know old Madame Hu's character? So, she came knocking with a gift and good-naturedly conversed with old Madame Hu. If this matter succeed, then when the time comes, she won't short her a red envelope. Only then old madam who budged and expressed that she would ask when she had time. As for the red envelope or something, no need. Old madam Zhu insisted that the red envelope must be given. With this, old madam who displayed more politeness, chatted with her and then bid her her farewell. Old Mr. Hu was also at home. He said puzzledly, what a rare sight. Doesn't her family look down on the rural household registration? Last time old madam who wanted to match up with Hu Zi and Zhu Zhen Zhen. Old madam who knew about it. According to old Mr. Hu, Hu Zi was a good young man. If it works out, it won't be too bad in the future. However, old madam Zhu disapprove and disdained Hu Zi's rural household registration. Why didn't she dislike it now? Zhu Zhen Zhen is going to marry out. Her grandson is going to marry one back. Of course it is different. Old madam who replied. If she married out, the capital cities will become rural one. And when he marry one back, the rurals will become capital city one. However, it's due to seeing Hong Xia's sister marrying a rich brother-in-law. She want to get linked to this family. Old madam who continued. Everyone had been old neighbors for most of their lives. Who didn't know another's thoughts? Old Mr. Who clicked his tongue, what good calculation. Old Madam Who was willing to help speak for them. It would be great if it works out. She could still get some benefits. And could be regarded as their matchmaker. Another connection. If it doesn't, it didn't matter much. Anyway, it wasn't her grandson getting rejected by others. Afterward, Mother Zhou sensed the two women's attitude towards her improved. She didn't think much about it. Josie and I had been studying very hard recently. Because when school starts this year, she will attend night school with Gang Z. Initially, Josan and I was going to be included. But she was pregnant now. So she definitely can't go. Josie Ni's foundation was relatively weak, so Lin Ching he didn't arrange her to attend to night school after coming to the capital for so long. She had been studying by herself. Zhou Er and I was guiding her. Lin Ching He too. Recently, she often went to hot springs. She felt that her body was different. 
This year, when night school starts, you can attend class. Lin Qing, he said as she looked through her homework after doing gymnastics. Josie and I curled her lips. It was obvious she was delighted, and, can I reach my sister's level? She felt her sister had become brilliant now. She can do everything. Study hard and you won't be worse than your sister. Lin Qing, he stated. Josie and I nodded earnestly. She must study hard. Only when she came to the capital did she know how developed the city was. One can't keep up without studying hard. Even Qing Yang and Qing Yu graduated from high school. She only reached third grade. Not enough to show. Lin Qing, he was pleased to see that she was working so hard. She would support her as long as she knew how to make progress in a proper way. We will recruit two more people this year. Lin Qing, he invited Ma Qing Min over to their home and declared. Ma Qing Min was dumbfounded and asked, currently there are enough manpower? This year I plan to let Hu Zi go out to set up a street stall by himself. Let him try to go it alone. That side lack of staffs, so I will recruit one more to keep as a substitute. Lin Qing, he explained. Su Xing Chang had started to set up stalls. How can she let Hu Zi lag behind him? Besides, Hu Zi had been brought over for some time. What should be taught was mostly taught. Now he had a match, it didn't hurt to let him go out and make his way. When he get married in the future, he'll be ahead of the family. He got to support the house. It was time to go out and gather experience. She had brought these nephews and nieces over. She really didn't intend to tie them down for the rest of their life. If they had the ability, they can go out and do it alone. They will receive support from her side. If they didn't have the ability, then honestly settle down and watch the shop for her. Ma Ching Min nodded when he heard this. About your wife. Spend more with her during your free time. There's still a week before work start. I will grant you three more days off. In total, ten days. You can accompany her back to her maternal home to relax. Lin Qing, he said. Chapter 500 Gain 3 Genes Over New Year We're at 500. 200 or so to go. What's more, there's few more months until Christmas. Since I got a full-time job, I need to make preparation ahead of time. And I need your help on what Christmas present should I choose. Click here to help. Chapter 500 Gain 3 Genes Over New Year Ma Ching Min went home and told Huang Xiao Lu. Huang Xiao Lu was overjoyed. Like over the moon overjoyed. She hadn't gone home since she came to the capital. So when Ma Ching Min wanted to take her back to the village, her face revealed a rare smile. Hearing that it was Lin Qing He's idea, Huang Xiao Lu made a basket of steamed cakes. Which were soft and delicious. Exceptionally good. Except for leaving some for her son Ma Xiao Dan, the rest was brought to Lin Qing He's side. This steamed cake is really good. Did you make it? Lin Qing He gave her face. She took a bite on the spot and asked Huang Xiao Lu. This is a specialty from my hometown. Teacher Lin, I'm glad you don't dislike it. I will make it for you when I come back. Huang Xiao Lu grinned. Hearing that they were going back to the village, she was excited. Lin Qing, he understood that she might not find her self-worth in the capital, so she agreed. This steamed cake was delicious. When Zhou Qingbai came back, Lin Qing, he gave him a taste. Zhou Qingbai also thought it was good. Lin Qing, he suggested, what do you think of selling the steamed cake as breakfast in the shop? Question mark. Perplexed, Zhou Qingbai looked at his wife. This steamed cake was naturally good. He felt it was tasty to eat, but the profit probably won't be high. Get Huang Xiao Lu to make some, put it in the shop and try selling it. Consider it as change of taste, Lin Qing he said. Initially, she hadn't planned this aspect. But this steamed cake was indeed delicious to eat, so Lin Qing, he came up with this thought. Okay. Zhou Qingbai didn't care about this profit. 
But seeing his wife had this plan, he had no objection. Tomorrow, Ma Ching Min and Huang Xiao Lu will take Ma Xiao Dan home. So Lin Qing, he went over to bring this matter up to Huang Xiao Lu. Can this steamed cake be sold? Does anyone want it? Huang Xiao Lu's accent was still heavy. Still, it was in Mandarin. Lin Qing, he said, I found it delicious. Your skill is extraordinary. Huang Xiao Lu rarely received praise from others. She felt a little shy at Lin Qing, he's compliment. At the same time, she was moved. I don't know how other people will find it. I was thinking leaving it until you and Qing Min to come back. You can get up early every morning, steam some and send some over to try to sell it. If the business is good, then it will permanent afterwards. Lin Qing, he said. I'm just afraid that it sell well. Huang Xiao Lu was excited and a little nervous. Generally speaking, it won't be impossible to sell. According to today's quality, someone will want it. Lin Qing, he assured. Her stomach wasn't picky. But still, this steamed cake was wonderful. It wasn't a bad idea to let people who often eat at the dumpling shop to occasionally change the taste. As long as Zhou Qingbai gives a few words of recommendation, it will generally sell. Ma Ching Min went to buy tickets. He only heard about it when he got home. He felt grateful. He understood Lin Qing. He's intention. This was because his wife's mentally was a little repressed. It was why she gave him a few more days off and let him take her back to the village to relax. And also found such a task to do. It can make his wife feel much better. Because of the two good news in a row, Huang Xiaolu really had a beam on her face. Early the next morning, she and Ma Ching Min took Ma Xiaodan back to her maternal home. Toward Huang Xiaolu's case, Lin Qing, he truly wanted to stretch out her hand and give a hand. This rural young woman was very responsible. But she had a sense of inferiority in addition to this. She understood clearly in her heart that if Ma Ching Min hadn't gone to the countryside, she, an illiterate country girl, would not have been able to marry such a man. Since coming here, Lin Qing, he noticed how clean the place was when she visited despite how recluse she was. It showed that she was neat and loved tidiness. It was just that she hadn't adapted to here very much since she came here. The surroundings were too different from where she originally lived. Coupled with the pressure of some rumors and gossips from some people outside, she became depressed and unhappy. Lin Qing, he didn't want slash a perfectly fine person to be infected with depression. Simply too misfortunate. So seeing that she had the skill, Lin Qing, he was willing to give her a try. Find something to do and have the opportunity to realize self-worth while taking care of her family. This way, she won't be in self-doubt and self-denial. Zhou Qingbai's dumpling shop opened again. He also found a temporary worker to wash the dishes. It was still a while before school starts. Lin Qing, he was idle, so she gave CNI pointers. While she was at it, she came over to the dry goods shop to see Zhou San and I. Zhou San and I ate well. After the new year, she got a lot rounder. Lin Qing, he smiled and commented, It seems that AI Gui gave you his share. Zhou San and I blushed, I don't know what's going on. I feel I can eat all the time. Basically, she was hungry every so often. So she felt that she was really fat. It's normal. People who are pregnant have better appetites. Lin Qing, he said. She has no experience in this, but she also knew that one shouldn't eat too much. So she advised Zhou San and I to restrain herself occasionally and consume appropriate amount. Zhou San and I agreed and said, Fourth Aunt C, is Hu Zi's match, confirmed? They had New Year's Eve dinner together. She knew that Hu Zi had brought Chin Shan Shan over, but didn't find out too much. So she asked about it this time. If there is no mishap, it is confirmed. Lin Qing, he smiled. The relationship between Hu Zi and Chin Shan Shan was developing very fast. Perhaps due to the characteristic of this era. Relationships weren't too complicated. 
The two young people legitimately dated under the elder's approval. That's great. When second maternal aunt know about it, she would be delighted. Zhou San and I grinned. Lin Qing, he didn't pay much attention to these things. Everything was up to fate. If fated, then it was natural wonderful. If not, it can't be forced. Zhou Er and I and Wang Yuan returned after the Lantern Festival. This year, the snowstorm was relatively heavy. There was even heavy snowfall during the Lantern Festival. The weather remained terrible for the next few days. When Zhou Er and I and Wang Yuan returned to the capital, Lin Qing, he's semester had already started. Ma Qing Min and Huang Xiao Lu's family of three had also returned. During this icy weather and snowy ground, there wasn't much business after opening the shop. Till, the time arrived. Lin Qing, he still gave order to open the shop. Everyone who needed to go to work, went to work. When Lin Qing he returned from work, she saw Zhou Erni's much rounder face and smiled, went back and got fed a lot of delicious food by your mother, right? Zhou Er and I felt embarrassed. Every day during the new year, there was nothing to do. So she ate and drank at home all day long. Especially when her mother made hearty meal, because of Wang Yuan's arrival. It was hard not to gain weight. When she came back this time, she also brought some home specialties, my mother marinated a lot of salted duck eggs. One share for my grandparents and another for here. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.